coming to you from the heart of Kingsville, Maryland. A place where the beer flows like wine. Deep inside the torture chambers of producer Mike, Big Timing Comedy presents Paco's Got Balls, featuring the founders and pioneers of Big Timing Comedy, Stefan Suvaric. I'm your huckleberry. And Eric Joliver. 100 push-ups in 20 minutes! Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. I don't want to jerk the wheel. Hello, how are we doing tonight? Before we start, just have to let everybody know that Stefan is not with us. Who? Yeah, not to be a Debbie Downer, but we have our uh, our fill-in who is a very, very studly, handsome man. And when I say stud, I mean steampunk stud. Oh, like a rivet. Yeah, like a rivet. Very rivety. Like that? Uh, yeah, we have, we have Tommy Simbazos. Hi, everybody. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Thanks for filling in. <laughs> I like the, how, the like... The grill master. <laughs> I like how, like, the, when the girl, like, says your guy's name, she should follow, the, like, the most easiest to pronounce last names ever. <laughs> yes. It's like Smith and Jones of Ellis Island. You can bet I got an email about, uh, I need some pronouncers. <laughs> yeah. She was, she, yeah. Uh, he was cussing me when I sent it. He's like, are you serious? This is really what we're sending her? And I'm like, yep. <laughs> Because she I sounds gotta, lovely. If I got to do it again. And you got to do it again. If you're listening, you sound lovely. Robin. 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 Follow Robin. Ro- follow, follow Robin Marshall on Facebook. Robin Marshall. Yeah, we do get a lot of actual, lot of questions about whose voice that is, and it is. It's Robin Marshall. She's uh, quite the talented lady. If I sent her an erotic story, would she record it and send it back to me? Probably. For the um, right amount of money. Really that, um, yeah. yeah. There's a book. And an audio book. You don't need to send her a story. She's, she's got, got, a she's lot got of that. one. I have he very actually, specific kinks. He actually has the book out on it in his living room. We can talk I about that. I own that. Later, that I own the audio version too. All right, I had to hear. We got we got a lot of a lot of good stuff okay. going on here. We'll we'll let's let's push through. So first, let me hit the sponsorships up. Uh, we have UPS store, uh, pack and ship guarantee. If they package it, if anything happens, you get a full refund, no questions asked. Uh, go in and see Joe and Emily, and it's uh, the UPS store down in Canton Crossing Shopping Center. Mm. Uh, and, uh, the, and you mentioned that you heard nice. about them on the podcast. Get they you get a little ten percent off your uh, packaging or uh, printing needs. Nice. We do all of our stuff there. We love them, and uh, we keep going back. So yeah, uh, we also have Nectar sunglasses. Keep going, keep buying. I know it's the middle of winter, and the last thing people are thinking about is sunglasses. But, but you'll be glad when the when there's glare off exactly. the snow. Yeah, that yeah, you yeah. Have that. exactly. Yeah. Snow glare is that, worse than sun glare. That goddamn frost on the windshield. But uh, use comedy at checkout, uh, and you get twenty five whole percent off. And uh, they have a lot of sweet sunglasses that are in like a thirty dollar range. So take twenty five twenty five percent off. That's not a bad deal. Yes. Uh, tequila of the week. So uh, <laughs> this is this is uh, leftover week. We have quite a grouping of uh, tequila here over the last few weeks because everybody we keep bringing on the show seems to be dry. So Stefan and I are working on these bottles all on our own. Well, I honestly I didn't know it was an option that I could say no. No, you can't because I don't like tequila, and yet every time I come here, I well, have to drink tequila. Well, here's the key: there's only one thing I like less than tequila. <laughs> and we have that as well (laughs) but you seem to be enjoying the tequila unless you're just lying to me Uh, at this point i don't even know if i can taste it anymore all right well well you're you get to select there's four bottles here of tequila and one lone bottle of uh true russian uh vodka Vodka. uh so what what is your which one is going to be your poison i am going to choose the casamigos the friend's house you have chosen wise nice i did it you went right to the tippy nice. top that's yeah. that is, i think stefan and i both uh, agree that's that's the well, best one i so chose far. the sketchiest label on a bottle like this bottle looks like it should have a rag coming out of it and it's on fire <laughs> being thrown <laughs> at a really protest does. in cuba you realize <laughs> that's actually how i got here it's you realize like a uh, uniform. you realize that is uh I fixed george, the window. george clooney's brand right 
Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Good old I didn't Clooney. know that. That's that is can George we, Clooney's. Can we recycle brand. the that's, George Clooney that's, in your mouth? That, we can. <sighs> we Good can. Good old Clooney Keela. That's uh, that you got a little bit of George Clooney in your mouth. Do, nice. do you think he does he uh, spit in every bottle? I, he uh, he might mm, rub his, he spit. might just rub that on his brown taste, eye. I can every taste Stacy Keebler. Nice. Mm. Uh, that's yeah, what? no, that's actually the most expensive bottle across the lineup. Here is that one, well, right to the they, top. So they they went paying the for the name. They went they, cheap on the label. They so they they really cheap. they they really they're put they're, it inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's written you know? on crayon. <laughs> Maybe there's more than just George Clooney uh, spit in the bottle. I'm open, so it's I mean, like shit. El Toro tequila with a little shot of Clooney sperm. <laughs> For the amount that they cost, George Clooney it better fucks have every bottle. <laughs> it better have a little bit. Of, either that, or just rub it on his like brown eye. You know. Yeah. <laughs> when let me tell. Can I tell a quick thing? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is another LARPing related story. Sweet. Well, uh, <laughs> our group, our group ended up. Uh, we decided we were going to be like druids, right? So we needed to pray to someone. So we started praying to Paul Masson, the you know the cheap shitty wine. Anyway, there's yeah, this I don't know yeah, that. I know yeah. Paul Masson. Yeah. Is it in a box or a bottle? It's a bottle. Like okay. and even comes with you know you're like you know you're classy. Is it up there with like yeah. night train? When you're drinking like wide mouth bottles yeah. of wine. Yeah. It's like a carafe of wine. And he used to have like a, a the commercial used to be he'd be like, We sell no wine before it's time. <laughs> and we used to call him Paul Mason. And then we would go around the campfire and pass the Wait, bottle around. What's it called again? I want to look this up. Paul Masson. Paul yes. Masson. How do you spell uh, S S O N? Wine. But we would go around and we would do like Chuck Norris type facts about uh, Paul Mason. Yeah, Mason's I know song. what you're talking about. But if now. you in the roundabout, if you <laughs> if you killed the bottle, you had to go into the woods and fuck it. Like nice. We made you go and like. <laughs> and one time we had a jug of oh, it and we're passing funny. around and our friend Carolyn killed it. <laughs> so we were like, you got to go into the woods and fuck this bottle. And she's like, but I don't want to fuck this bottle. <laughs> so she had to, when she came back, there was like. <laughs> a line of guys waiting to lick it? Oh, no, there was God. goop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One time we fucked, uh, we fucked a bottle. And then we filled cheap, shitty liquor in it and then went to go to a, uh, where people were hanging out and gave it to people to drink <laughs> and everything. That's awesome. <laughs> I have to ask, did you go, what is this great, the purpley grape, or did you go white zin? White zin. Oh, this is funny. This takes me back. Uh, and it's funny that it goes with your story. So in the 80s, this is like straight out of the 80s, I feel, these bottles of wine. Mm -hmm. It's bringing my memory back. And I grew up in Iowa, out in the Midwest. And... Uh, my my family was very close to the uh, we were Episcopalian we're Episcopalian so we went to the Episcopal Church which Fish is people. which is uh, Catholic uh, light which is Catholic, Catholic thank light. you Mike perfect you took the words right out of my mouth uh, and and like that group of people we spent time I mean they were family it was a lot of fun we would do a lot of things with them we'd go skiing and we'd have potlucks and all that fun shit and man the adults like looking back the adults would just party I mean they <laughs> yeah drank and I remember like just going to parties and we would hang out all the kids would go back and play you know atari and video games and shit and watch 80s movies and hang out well and back then they were called movies movies, movies. yeah they were called 80s movies. <laughs> 80s movies a little breakfast club ah the episcopal youth group <laughs> and yes. uh no my parents were like they they were the leaders of the episcopal gr youth group man <clears throat> and it was a very tight-knit group but i remember they used to drink the shit out of this wine yeah paul like, mason yeah paul mason i can't wait to talk to my parents about that one I, that's pretty I funny used to, i used to steal the the lids? No, the wine. Oh, the wine. We used to use the. You'd collect the lids <laughs> in our group. Get a little trash. Yeah. They act yeah. like they're so real like a big. big metal. Yeah, lid, big metal. We would trade yeah. them to each other. It's like this bigger than like a the Snapple. Pogs of the eighties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, back then they were just called pogs. Yes. But <laughs> which is funny because nobody other than Mike and I were in that discussion Friday night about pogs. But anyways, I digress. That sounds like you guys were in a <clears throat> pussy party. Dude, we had party. we were fighting it off with fucking sticks with your slammers with our slammers <laughs> and your pogs and, and we had slammers. those giant tubes that we were fucking the big plastic tubes <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute how wait much minute. did i drink on i don't remember but you pulled out a bottle of uh what was that uh, paul masson no <laughs> oh it's paul oh it was Masson. did anybody <laughs> fuck it uh maybe Depends. or he prophesized his own coming by saying i still I'm have coming, that bottle I'm coming and I'm then gonna check came. it later <laughs> so uh, we got really sidetracked, and I apologize. Our Teachers. guest Matt. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to introduce our uh, our guest Matt here. Matt Beck, hey. A.K.A. Matt Wanger, Matt Wanger, and his driver. Uh, so, so and wait, my driver Corbin, and his driver say. Corbin. Corbin Say hello, Corbin. Hi. Shut up, Corbin. <laughs> 
Mm, uh, man go. of many words. <laughs> you're out of your element. Oh, man. <laughs> Corbin's, Corbin's main job is to talk and keep me awake on the ride home. Oh, he's saving um, it up. Then. Oh, pretty, yeah. I'm pretty Save much, it up. We're pretty much going to die. Uh, yeah, it's gonna, but anyways, it's gonna... so, so Matt, uh, I, are you changing? So, Wanger, I'm confused. Are you Matt Beck or Matt Wanger or Matt Beck hyphenated Wanger? Or, like, no, how is I'm that a, working? I'm not a hyphenated Wanger. Okay. I'm not. There's nothing hyphenated <laughs> about my Wanger. Um, I was <laughs> good to know. Yeah. When I started doing, like, the comedy shows and running shows up in uh, Pennsylvania, I started getting a lot of comedians that would, like, come after my Facebook page under my personal name mm. so my wife got a little upset with it so i switched it to matt wanger just to kind of steer them away from looking at pictures of my kids so you chose the name wanger yeah, yeah well the comedy group i ran was slang wanger comedy, oh, okay, okay. so i just put it at the back of my name nice i didn't That's want to be called matt slang <laughs> I thought Matt Wanger was a little badass. No, I like that. That's, that's a good. No, I I was curious because I mean when we first met, you were Matt back, Matt yeah. back and all of a sudden Matt Wow, and then because you know obviously you don't talk to people very often. No, people don't remember my last name. And was was like, was, we just call him Balls. 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 Yeah. yeah, that's right. Balls. Balls. It's the balls. easiest thing. And, and one syllable. Matt. Matt has a good radio voice. He does. Yeah, I have a I have a full, I have a voice for radio and good control. Uh, uh, so. Yeah. Oh, Is we haven't good? gotten him. Like we haven't that. gotten him really worked up yet. I think, yeah, so I we'll, get we'll there. see. We'll My get shirt's there. shirt's not off yet, so that's the goal. We'll get him. Ooh, get get him. We'll take get him. We'll, we'll get him. The goal off. for me is to get him to um, redline you tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll. Yay, I will, more uh, work for me. Thank I'll you. hand Corbin my keys when that time comes. <laughs> he starts going. Woo! That'll be scary. All right, so Matt, you. So. You work for a brewery? You do some work with That's a brewery? It's kind of like scary because there's actually like this little hair sticking out of the tip of the microphone. That's and it's tickling the side of my face. It's that's that's because uh, that pubes. was just clean. <laughs> that was that was Mike's pew because he washed these with his underwear. Nice. <laughs> Um, except um, <laughs> that's the joke on you uh, guys. Oh, no wonder why they pushed me to the corner. <laughs> e- e- uh. Except um, he. <laughs> Like oh, he's, you're, he's bald he's everywhere. Bald. Wow. Well, jokes on you. I can't get another cold sore. So. <laughs> <laughs> bald like a little boy. Thanks to the roommate being gone, there's no hair in anything. Wow. Oh. So, so do you take if a, you have a hair, it's long. Is it? Where did that? Did we pick that up? In, uh, <laughs> wait, you have three daughters and a wife. Yeah, don't try to blame that on us. You uh, brought that with you. You brought it yeah, with you. Probably, probably on his face. Yeah, it's it probably stuck yeah. to his face. Yeah, not really. All right. So uh, <laughs> so you work for a brewery. I work on the side work, for a brewery. Work, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the name of that brewery? That's uh, Crooked Eye Brewery right in Hatboro. All right. little plug for him. A little plug. That's my boys up in Hatboro. Um, they've been around for like three years. They do. Uh, right now, we have like 14 beers on tap. They actually just came out with a mead, wow. which I was Ooh. unable to get, which was really, that's Tommy, good. Tommy's oh. down with the mead. Oh, that's yeah. right, the He's LARPing in the yeah. mead. I'm a huge dork. I like mead. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> the wearing meat's a, good. He's it's, wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. Uh, I have two twenty-sided die in my. <laughs> the shielded bed. sweatshirt is off, <laughs> and it's the, the shirt of Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. So, Batman, so what do you do on the on the on the air quote side for them? Um, I bartend once in a while. Uh, <laughs> I was doing the open mics there, okay. the comedy open mics, and then recently we started actually doing a quizzo night, which became. A lot more fun than the comedy nights, so yeah, we yeah. chopped the comedy nights and, and we cheaper. kept the quizzo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a lot cheaper. So wait, are you? I see you. You handle a shitload of meat over there. Is that? Ooh, is yeah. that? Cause yeah, that's, that's uh, another side thing I do with them too. Because that shit looks. I, there's days where I'm like, why can't I be fucking closer? Because yeah. man, you're doing some slow cooking of the meats over yeah, there. Yeah, we. Um, oh, you mean food? Okay. Yeah, food, not not like cock meat. Yeah, I wanted to see wait where up. this was going. No. <laughs> Way to pick I know. Up. I know. The look on his face was very devilish. <laughs> yeah, I got it all. I got everybody's attention. Everybody's yeah, ears yeah. are like, "Wait, what?" I was like, "Why yeah. is he drooling like that?" Talking about me. that's what's <laughs> actually dicks. That's See, why that's, there's hair on here. My, my, like my radio voice. Anyway. My ra- radio voice came in. I was like, "So he do a lot of work with the, <laughs> with the meat." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They um, we're we're trying to get a program going with uh running smokers out back. So we purchased one smoker, and somebody actually gave us one. So nice. on special occasions, yeah, we'll do. Uh, I've done roast, uh, slow roast pork on there. We did uh, some brisket, some venison, 
Because one is that, of the owners, is that fresh venison or yes, is that it uh, is. cage venison? It is fresh. Nice. The now, owner. When is, is somebody an avid gonna hunter. bring me some steaks? God, you need to remind me of that shit. Like the morning, like the morning I'm leaving. Oh, that's before right. You don't go home. All right. Yeah, I, I, I come I, straight from work. All right. I there work hard. But anyways, I'm sorry. So That's is okay. this no. so is this doe meat, meat, buck meat? Because I'm a I'm a that venison I connoisseur. Don't, I think it's a I think it's buck meat. Oh. I think it is. Yeah, you can keep it. Yeah, really? Yeah. Okay. Doe meat's where it's at. It, doe meat. It really is. Well, you should, I would rather eat a doe than a buck any person. Well, I mean, I, for that reason, just, yes. That's my, but for know. legit reason, so buck meat is because buck Are we meat. We touching on bestiality right <laughs> now. Yeah, he'd, rather eat a buck. <laughs> he'd rather eat a buck. He'd rather eat a buck. What's funny is this is like a legit conversation. <laughs> you're right. No, you're. you're no, I like, can imagine a buck's buck, probably tougher because it's, it's tougher. Stronger, it's got. It's, it's got animal. the the um the testosterone running, mm. so it makes it super gamey. Yeah. And if somebody gut shot it or mm. just didn't fucking process it right, it doesn't. It's already nasty to begin, to with. begin with. And then if you don't process it right. Typically, they mix a bunch of pork in with it to give it to make it not so. That I don't, I don't know, but I know it was it was shot with a crossbow. I know that. Nice. Um, So he definitely didn't gut shot it. He definitely did a crossbow. Mead by by Rambo. No, I mean, (laughs) I I grew up. My dad brought me. I mean, we've always I've I've always grew up hunting on a piece of property that my dad managed, and it was managed for guests. So it was a very wealthy landowner, but he's. And it sounds horrible, but the guy was a very big environmentalist okay. and he owned thousands of acres. And my dad was a wildlife biologist and he helped manage it to basically make it like the optimal hunting area. But okay. by doing that, they're managing the deer herd out of all the other animals. That's one of the things that he does. And so whenever I hunted, it was to manage the herd so that there were like the good big bucks were for the for the guests to come on and shoot but they gotcha. would only hunt with bow and arrow which is 10 times harder than hunting with a gun i would imagine yeah it, it's i mean even a crossbow it's is that's why easier. there's no cowboy reservation exactly <laughs> <laughs> for lassoing <laughs> yeah lasso your deer but uh no i grew up i was always like don't you dare shoot one of those with antlers and i'm like man everybody talks about wanting to shoot the bucks you know yeah and just dad's like, eh, fuck it. The meat's better with the does anyways. And that was what we were hunting for was for the meat. You shoot a buck, it gets expensive real fast because you got to get the taxidermist involved. Oh, okay. To get the meat? Well, most of the yeah, time, if you're shooting a buck, it. you're yeah. looking for the, the mount. You're looking for the head yeah, and the rack. The I had a buddy the that mount. The I, mount. Used to, I surveyed for 11 years, and I had a buddy who came back in one day. He worked with, like, this young inner city black kid. Uh, and uh, they came in from the field one day, and he was like, hey, Tion, tell him what I did today. And he's like, yo, man, this motherfucker chopped a, a deer's head off with a machete. And I'm like, <laughs> bullshit, you did. Uh, and apparently he told me, he goes, yeah, I saw a wounded deer, had my machete, he was clearing line in the woods, and he yeah. started running, I and it started it. running, and he turned the corner and just fucking swung, yeah. swung yeah. and just lopped its head off. Yeah, yeah. And wow. then I was like, holy shit, so then a couple weeks later, we were out at the property that he ha- it happened at. And he was like, do you want to see it? And I was like, sure. And we go over to where the body is, and he's pulling up these tiny little bones. And I'm like, what size deer was this? He was like, oh, it was, a, it was totally a baby deer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's so gross. He made it sound like he was doing yeah. a well, man's job. Well, then he was job. like, do you want to see the head? I was like, okay. And we walk, and there's a fence post in the middle of the woods. And he had taken its <laughs> oh, mouth. And like oh, Apocalypse oh. Now or yeah, some and shit. And put the mouth over the – he was a little weird. That is a little extreme. Yeah. I mean, there was um, my wife and I belonged to a CSA for like three or four years down where or up where I come from, and uh, there was a, the guy who was the farm manager. It was completely closed off, so they couldn't have deer to destroy the crops. And one happened to get in, and it was starting to destroy some of the crops. So the board of directors told him, you know, look, uh, whatever you got to do to take care of the the animal, just take care of it. So apparently, he told me what he did was. Because it became so docile from being around them for like an entire season, he had a handful of apples, and when it came up to him, he took his his uh, vine knife out of his sheath and shoved it through his throat, face to face, <laughs> right in the middle of the field, and just and killed the deer right was, in front. That was personal. And just yeah, watched it, yeah. Watched the life drain out of it. Oh yeah. my god! I think my brother sent me a, a video, or I think it was him. He sent me a video of a family that had I don't remember the backstory, but they brought in this deer. 
And they had this fucking thing living in their goddamn house. Like, they had a video of the deer up on their bed. Like, the deer what? was living in their house. And the game wardens show up, and they're videotaping the game wardens that are coming into the yard. And uh, I'm, my chair has got my <laughs> headphones caught. It always sucks when you roll over it, isn't it? And that was shouldn't the end have of the it, should, story. Shouldn't Glad have you have all that extra cord. God damn! Now that extra, Mike, why'd you put so much extra cord on my headset? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> ah, that was at my request. Anyway, so I, I so anyways, so the, she's the the woman of the house is videotaping the game wardens. They come up, and you can't really hear what's going on, but the the game wardens essentially are like, yeah, you, you can't do this. <laughs> you can't do <laughs> and the deer was actually showing signs of a I don't remember the disease, but it's a fucked up disease, and I think oh. it's actually communicable communicable to humans. Oh, nice. And they're like, and then they're showing the video and the woman is like recording them chasing the deer around the house. <laughs> and then the deer runs over and they're all like got their guns pulled. And then all of a sudden you hear, and she goes, no. They shot it in the house. <laughs> no, no, no. They shot, they it. shot him in <laughs> the <laughs> living room right in front of SpongeBob. And then episode. they're like, clean that up. And they walk out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. Don't bring a deer in your house. <laughs> This is no, no, happens. no! It was in the front yard. They pistol whipped the deer to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I got to get straight about that, but we'll save that for another time, uh, <laughs> unless you really want to hear it. <laughs> so another time, then. So another time. I'm just right. kidding. I love this yes. deer story. Do you? No. All right. Jesus. Uh -oh. Are you gonna spill that drink? No, I don't Ice cubes. Give it yourself like two. Everybody's two got such long cords. Now I gotta sterilize the damn couch. Getting stuck on your cords. Ain't like the first time you've had to sterilize it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think alcohol on this couch would hurt it. <laughs> Which end gets sterilized more? <laughs> of the couch, I mean. I don't know. That's a question for Mike. It's his couch. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so, all right. I, I'm not even telling the story of that. Um, oh boy. Nursing home couch. Is that what this is? Oh, I know there's all kinds of feces on oh here. Oh, my God. Oh. Tommy's face went from like a full-blown ear-to-ear smile. It just <laughs> dropped when you said It's not a casting couch. Yeah, Thanks, Dad. on this couch. <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah. It's a, or in a no, room it's, with it. It's a, ca the it's a casting couch for mature videos. Yeah. Yeah. For, for snuff porn. <laughs> Wait. Explain for snuff gilf. porn. You don't for know what snuff porn is? I've heard the term, but okay. I don't. Okay. You know how you put out a candle, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you snuff it. Mm -hmm. Same thing with porn. You put their light out and they're dead. Oh. When you kill someone in a porn. Okay. I never uh, understood that. You guys are such so porn is it, I guess it's easier <laughs> to it's easier to snuff out <laughs> Corbin uh, is an laughing. older person. I, I would that hope so. Easy. Yeah. Corbin's laughing with you like <laughs> he's yeah. like, I ain't no amateur. Yeah, he pays, I knew. He pays 30 I bucks a month just like I know me. the snuff. <laughs> what is the matter with you? <laughs> all right, so Matt, you brought a couple of beers to throw in the, the kitty in here the with mix. all the booze. So yes. we're going to do a little bit of a tasting. All right. And Tommy, since you're struggling that tequila, you look it's like you're, so you look like you're pounding that tequila pretty hard to know, not be kinda, liking it. It's kind of good. It really kind of good. That, you I'm telling you, that try, George Clooney is. Try Casamigos tequila. Reusable Ooh. body for the upcoming revolution. There you go. That's a nice little plug for I me. like that. That was nice. Makes me want to drink tequila. Enjoy it. It's uh, over a $50 bottle of fucking tequila. Ooh. Yeah. Jesus, that damn George Clooney. Mm. I know. You don't, you don't got enough tequila. Why, I know. That's why the Insane Clown Posse should have a Fago flavored tequila. <laughs> <laughs> it's like $3 a quart. <laughs> Three dollars a oh, quart. Man. Isn't that what they call El Toro? Everybody ever drink that tequila? Oh, that yeah. sounds really familiar. It's got the lid is actually like a red, um, little, little, little sailboat. No, it's a the hat, the, the Mexican hat. <laughs> oh, sombrero. A sombrero. Yeah, I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> the hat is a, a plastic <laughs> red sombrero. Is Wait, the you lid. call it El Toro? El right? Toro. Isn't that? Doesn't that mean boat? I thought I meant. I don't know. What? Isn't that what they Where say to Stephon? a bull? It we means need the bull. The bull. El Toro. The El Toro. Bull. El Toro. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave. I just I just got it. It took me two hours to get here. Don't leave. <laughs> I have a wall to build. <laughs> so, yeah, the the uh Who's going to pay for that? El Toro. Hillary. George Clooney. <laughs> George Clooney and his tequila money. All right, so which one should I try first? Which the, one? That one, that one that you're one? gripping right now. Oh, I'm gripping. You're Should gripping. I? That's uh, that's One? their hazy eye. Yeah, all right. That's, that's a nine percent double IPA. Oh, holy shit! Say that again. It's a nine percent double IPA. Goddamn! I'm gonna have like a sip. Right, and then the other one is 
probably the highest selling one that's on tap there. It's the Burrow Blonde. That's but that's like a more five point six. So wait, do I want to start with the low? The low. You can start low. That's the better way to do it, right? It, technically, yeah. All right, I'm ga- I'm down yeah. with technically. I would go tech. I would go with the technicality and yeah, go no. low and then pop it up. All right, so I'm gonna try the 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 BBs with the, the opening. That's the uh, <laughs> that's the Burrow Blonde. Oh, he's smelling mm, it. Smells. What's it smell like? Fruity. Smells, smells like, like beer. Fruity. I smell some coriander, <laughs> some banana peels. Oh, uh, maybe maybe a banana. Is there really? Oh uh, well, it, the bottle did come from my house, so <laughs> it's possible that there was some Great. form of a banana in they there. They keep their bananas Great. in these bottles. What did you say? It was Palmasan. <laughs> in my house, it's crooked eye growlers. <laughs> I smell just a touch of scrotum. Mm. I must have got the lower side of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. I'm gonna, as far as like the descriptions of them all, if anybody would like go to the uh, website you, and check it would out, would you like more than that, Tommy? That's good. That's for a tasting. We're doing a tasting. Yes, we're doing, we're doing a tasting. Tastings. Yeah. This is our second. Uh, you got it. Thank Sorry. you. Our, I've our, already our, I've already tasted this, so you guys do the uh, the sipping. It does. It smells very sweet. So this sweet. is our our second uh, podcast in a row now where we've involved uh, craft beer tasting. So uh, was it? Where did? It we come were, from the last time. We were at uh, Saturday. Uh, we were at RAR. Real, oh, I saw real some revival. of that video. Yeah. Yeah. Did they <laughs> brew stuff right there? Yeah, smell into the mic. You're supposed to drink it, not snort it. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. Get the straw all, out of here. All these mice have been cleaned. Mm. Oh, it's very these smooth. These mics are clean. That's delicious. Mm-hmm. Clean and hairy. There's no hair here. <laughs> That's good. It you like good. that one? That's good. Oh, I should call my sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought that's who Corbin was. So yeah. Yeah. Corbin wait, Corbin. Corbin. wait, wait! I didn't, I didn't plug in the phone. If we could get Corbin oh. to shut up for a minute, we, we could actually take phone calls oh. onto the podcast if you'd like. No, no, oh, no, wow. no, 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 you, not you, some, uh, from his sponsor. I didn't plug it. In. You started no. it. You started it. You didn't plug in the phone. We'll don't, talk. Don't be writing checks. Your butt can't cash, Corbin. Uh, my butt can't cash any checks. Corbin's gonna go call in. Take your phone and go out there and call in. That would be fucking great. What if he great. just called in from right here? Right, right that would be great. Just Here's just the number, 555. Right he'll, he'll call and he'll be like, yeah, long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. That one's a good one. Yeah, that's delicious. Yeah. That's probably the highest selling one that they have on tap. They go through that the most. Um, how many how many uh was it how many barrels of that do you know off the top of your head how many barrels of that they're cranking out a year? they have a they actually a year i have no idea i know they they brew in a seven barrel system they have a ferment a okay. huge fermentation room on site um i i really couldn't tell you how many seven we go barrels through. i don't even i can't even visualize that. i i should find out I, Wait, it's easy you to stuck your hand in a one barrel, barrel on saturday one barrel and then put Draw six and, right yeah, around and it. then picture seven of them yes there were there was four or five. <laughs> Can't even imagine. I mean, seven. if I was to uh, when I was in Rehoboth a while ago, I was to uh, it was called the Crooked Hammock, and their brewing room the 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 brewing pots were <clears throat> massive, like two stories high. This isn't mm. that the case with us. It, they're smaller pots, like they're big, but they're not. You could have a nice hot tub party Wait, in them. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Who said sounds pot? like sounds is that like somebody what this has, tastes? That that was the scrotum you smelled. Pot? Who said sounds pot? like somebody has a little bit of a <laughs> side yeah. attraction to these yeah. barrels. This yeah. one's yeah. called human do. soup. Human <laughs> soup. This one's called three ladies to two men ratio. <laughs> four plus dumb equals four. <laughs> um, no, but and then uh, the one I drink all the time is the stout. I I usually oh drink you didn't the bring that stout. one nah. I got the hazy eye because it usually that's the one that everybody finishes their night with. Oh, well, what's that? The hazy. That the, I'm not finishing my night with it, thank but you, Corbin. thank you, Corbin. All right, Corbin. Oh, I think I got stuck on your. You I'm stuck oh, on his yep, foot. I did it. I'm stuck. Thanks. Corbin has a Spider-Man Robin tattoo. I do. Wow. What's the story with that? Uh, it is for my son. Okay. Congratulations. His name is Spider-Man. Mi- no. Oh. <laughs> his first and middle name is Damian Parker. Oh, okay. So. Like Damian Wayne. Like Damian Wayne and Parker for Peter Parker. One of my favorite Robins, Damian Wayne. Damian Wayne. So so Corbin, how old are you? I'm just curious. Because hold on, wait, wait, wait. Can I guess this actually now that I've asked a question? Oh, I know I'm going to be wrong. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Tommy, do you want to throw a guess first? No, because gingers don't age. <laughs> no, they don't. Everyone knows that. <laughs> 
Well, he's got that baller porn stash, which is really throwing it off. He's got. So he said it's got. A, it took a couple years to grow. Okay, so I'm gonna say you look like you're. I'm pushing 19, but I'm guessing you're 20. He got a kid. 26. We'll go 26. Oh, I was gonna damn, say damn. Damn. I was 24 or 26. So. Wow. Just like. Yeah, you. I, well, I was. I, he's like really upset. I sniffed now. it out. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. It's this a gypsy. I really there. wanted to get. <laughs> I really <laughs> wanted to get Tommy's guess. What were you guessing? I was thinking if you said anything lower than twenty-five, I was going to say twenty-five, because he doesn't have crow's feet. Yet. Yeah. No, he's got. You know. Yeah, yeah I got. I know I got those. I spent my entire teenage life in my room playing video games. Mm -hmm. So, so I he never had exposure to the sun mm -hmm. or. The so okay, <laughs> for the listeners because they can't hear. So he he just said he spent most of his young life inside playing uh, video games. So he hasn't gotten a lot of sun. What's your favorite game? What's your go-to? Talking to the mic. Um, gotta say Grand Theft Auto. Which one? Doesn't matter. So like you're ta even like the uh, first original top-down. Uh, Ooh, that's no. like top-down. Second one. Okay. Other than that, I guess from three on. Okay. Nice. From three years old on? Yes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. Have, it's a I gamer a for life. <laughs> I, have a, I have a special connection with uh, oh. Red Photo 3 because my one English teacher from elementary school looked like one of the pedestrians. So I would seek him out and just kill him. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> no right, anger kinda, there. Yeah. Hey. Kind of don't want Corbin sitting next <laughs> to you. Yes. <laughs> I think maybe he's threatening those things because maybe he's scared of you, so he's just being a little proactive. No, no. I mean, Wh which was three Vice City? No. Oh, okay. No. City. What? That was Vice City. Vice City was. I'm, Vice I'm City. like totally. I'm. I have no so fucking totally clue, lost. dude. I don't play video games. I just no no I just I, <laughs> no no <laughs> I just I literally just had this conversation on uh when or on Saturday. I think the last video game that I really got into was SSX Tricky, which is like the snowboarding game mm -hmm. back when really? I was in my early 20s. <sighs> Mine mid, was Galaga. Mid -20s. Was what? <laughs> Galaga? What? Or Galaxia or <laughs> whatever you Galaga. Galaga. Galaga? Yeah, see, I was, can't even pronounce that, it. What is that? Was that with the uh, snake that, like, yeah, goes well, that was Centipede. Centipede. Nah, I was. Galaga was that's a too old. Uh, side scroll shooter, like, do, 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 right? Yeah. 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 Okay. I, was, I could play that with my feet. That was <laughs> proud. Yeah, I was really proud of that. <laughs> That's how he would show off to the wait, 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 girls. Wait, wait, yeah, wait. Yeah, it's an arcade. Is there like a, an arcade machine somewhere that has Matt, Matt, Matt W, fungus. Matt W somewhere? Yeah, it's possible. As like the top three. Somewhere on the Jersey Shore. I yeah. Just, yeah, one I of just those performed. old arcades. Oh I my performed God. at MAGFest two weekends ago, which is the music and gaming festival. And so they have uh, video game bands. As weird as that sounds, like there's actually a band called the, um, oh fuck, what are they called? Oh, whatever they're called, they, uh, it's a full metal band, and then they just have a beanbag chair and a TV set up, and uh, they come out and they're like, hey, we're blah blah blah, and um, everybody say hi to Sean. And I'm like, hi Sean. This guy comes out in his pajamas and he sits down in the beanbag chair, and behind him it's projecting what's on the screen, and it brings up the original uh, Legend of Zelda. And they're oh, like, wow. oh, he's going to play, do a speed through for it, and uh, we're just going to play the background music. And, like, they would, they play this heavy metal version, like, <laughs> and the guy beat the game in an hour. Whoa! Yeah. And then there's uh, there's nerdcore rappers like Mega Rand, who, <sighs> who makes chip tunes. They take the things that make the music in the Nintendo games and make beats out of it and stuff. And they raps over oh, that's top pretty of cool. It. That yeah. is kind of cool. But then they had, so they had that going on. There was concerts the whole weekend. There was uh, one whole warehouse that was just set up with console games. You could just sit down and play. And then a whole other warehouse that just had people just brought their arcade games. And it was free play arcade the whole weekend. Damn. Wow. Yeah. That's like. Wow. And I was shrooming my balls off. I was going to say, <laughs> I, you were partying yeah. real hard. Yeah. So, uh, damn. I totally lost my question on that one. I was uh, you had me in my my brain was like imagining this warehouse full of freaking free video games. Yeah, it's so much fun. It's Afterburner in there. Yeah, I there used was, to play that. Oh man, there was Virtual Lawn. There was all sorts of stuff, weird wow. stuff from Japan. Like what's that Pie Gal? Whatever that thing is, 
that like it's I don't know this gambling game in China. I have no idea what I was doing. I'm just turning a knob, and the woman's like, "Okay, your game's over." I'm like, "If you say so." <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> I just started. Yeah, you lost already. We had my my neighbor and I were sitting and having coffee today, and we actually had to talk about the changes in game systems. Not that either one of us ever played game mm-hmm. systems, but we have the we want to start a business where we take like the new PlayStations and the Xboxes into retirement homes because they're all still playing like the original Wii's mm. and just like amp these fuckers up and like sit man. an old man in front of a screen and have him watch like Grand Theft Auto <laughs> or something in a rape scene oh, on the TV. man. <laughs> Freaking, he, he's either gonna have a heart attack or he's gonna be like, "That's some fucking yeah, shit." That's awesome. I always thought it'd be cool to like have like a bar where every table and everything has a game system, and you can just go and like go and play video games with your buddies while you're drinking. It. Hell yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Why did you just share that with everybody? You could have just run with that. <sighs> because I'm the idea man. You, okay? are the you guys idea just man. you take these ideas and make them happen. Right. They opened one down the street from us, like right down the street from my house. A little game. These kids bought this store. They lined it with televisions and game systems, and it's a place for them all come and game. And, and they, they're in there all night, and, like, the pizza place delivers, like, 30 pizzas, and they nice. sit in there all night and just play. You ever know, you know where that place is? It's, like, right down the street, right across from uh, – Corbin's got this look He's like, whoa, like, he's got a little yeah, twinkle. You like, fucker, you didn't yeah. tell me about this shit? <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's never usually on my priority list. I'm worried <laughs> yeah, about like, – I'm worried about – <laughs> <know about>, <laughs> I'm worried about doing dishes and making sure the kids shut up and – I mean, get their homework done. Dad of the year. Dad yeah. Of the year. yeah. All right. Have you? Tr- are you ready to try it? Have you tried it yet? No, I haven't tried it yet. The hazy. Right, That's the hazy. This is the hazy. This is the fucking. I'm gonna it. kick you in your balls. In your balls. It smells hoppy. Surprisingly, though, I always thought it IPA. wasn't. It was not very hoppy flavor wise. It's not. It's not super filtered. It's got a little bit of. It's a got a little chunk haze to it. Haze. It's almost like a brandy wine ish. Like a. Those are trouble. Like That's big trouble. Holy shit! Because I I don't I'm not an IPA guy, but the first time I had that, I my wife and I you on a Friday night. Yeah, well, I did. She didn't. That's usually the case. Um, <laughs> but I I the two of us killed almost two full growlers on a Friday oh night God. of that. And Saturday was really bad. Oh, yeah. That's a problem. I I love, love, love IPAs, but I hate, hate, hate what they fucking do to me the next day. It's bad. It's bad news. You need water. No, dude. It it just... (sighs) That's the thing. You're drinking beer. Water is the last thing. Yeah, I know. It it just... Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, Amateur. So, yeah, that's that's the two I brought. I I don't disagree with you, Mike. No, these are delicious. You like that? Cool. Mm-hmm. I knew you. Hazy was going to be one to bring because that's you either. They like said you either start your night with that and then go backwards, or you have one right before you leave. And it's literally like the Matrix beer because I've seen people walk that they were in the Matrix after they've had too many <laughs> of those, trying that to shit, leave the it bar. It reminds me it's so crazy. Cool. It reminds me so. Uh, my cousin, my family grew up up in, uh, or they live up in Maine, and my cousin came down. She worked at a uh, stowe in vermont and went to college up there and they came down one summer for fourth of july i don't know where uh, probably 10 15 years ago and she brought down a handful of growlers and i was like damn packing and it was from this brewery which i think it still exists and the name is the same but it's not it's one of those deals where it's not the same it's mm. run by somebody else somebody else took it's it called over, the shed of. like chuck e cheese oh, well. yes mm-hmm. exactly <laughs> it used to be the shit <laughs> showbiz pizza uh river town okay that was around here that's new okay it was the shed <laughs> and she rolls in with these growlers and one of them uh was a dark beer oh shit what was it called i don't know she called it blackout and it was it was black i mean this beer was it looked like a stout right but it drank like a lager i mean this oh. thing was unbelievable and she's like yeah i call that one blackout and I'm like, why? And she goes, because you'll drink the shit out of it till you black the fuck out. <laughs> and yeah. it was like, it was moderate. I don't I think it was like maybe a six or a seven, but it drank like it had like 4%, 5% yeah. alcohol. Ugh. And yeah, sure enough, we drank. Oh, oh my God. And I, to this day, I still, I wish that. We could, <laughs> I wish I could remember the name of it. I'm totally blanking on that. Probably on the name I, of the brewery itself. Well, the name of the beer. It was the shed was the brewery. And 
and it was called Blackout. What the fuck? I'm totally blanking on that. That's upsetting to me because I usually remember that right off the top of my head, even though I blacked out when I drank it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Before we get, so uh, we have a segment called uh, In the Hot Seat with Paco and Balls, but we're going to adjust that to oh, yeah, I'm In the Hot Seat with Tommy and Balls. I can be Bazo and, and Balls. Huh? B&B Bazo? All right, I like that. Yeah. Can you give a little, little, uh, little what? intro music to it? With Bazo yeah. and Balls. Bazo and Balls. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> but but first, I have to ask this question, and Tommy, we'll bring you in on it too, because you right. you weren't here. Uh, we ask our guests. Matt Matt Cannon's our uh, he's our big timer. Big yes, timer listener. I've heard the big timer, the Patreon. Yes, uh, he was actually on our episode, our Patreon episode we did at RAR this weekend Patreon. as a guest. Uh, and he brought up this fantastic segment I love, and it's called Just Push Play Albums. Um, the top three albums start lowest, work your way up. Albums that you can just push play to and just not skip, not jump around, just run it all the way through. Nostalgic. Nostalgic. Um, I have, I have three, and I actually have one that's kind of odd. Well... It's probably odd for you guys if you guys remember it. Hey, trust me. If you heard the episode with me, I took so much shit on mine, and they were way off the wall. Look, Mike's shaking his head. So okay. don't even worry about Most that. Most of them are pretty. The, the the two of them are basic. I'm I'm a big Deadhead, so okay. I like the Grateful Dead. All right. Um, I can't remember the name of the album right now, but it would it could probably be any Dead album I could put on. I'm Little Casey Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's not dead. like skeletons or anything like that. Any kind of like typical white kid suburban listen to the dead. Oh, it's um, off. It's... It would be like an off the chart kind of album. Okay. Um, there you go. Yeah. All right, we're just yeah. gonna stop right now. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know, don't do yeah. the brown acid. <laughs> yes, yeah, don't eat the brown <laughs> acid. Get um, some orange juice. Bring yourself down. <laughs> that looks like dirty ice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I ate dirty ice before. <laughs> um, so the, definitely the dead and uh, uh, Harry Connick Jr. is All an right. album called We Are in Love. He's got a talk show now. Yes, yeah. he does. Called Harry. Mary. Gr- yes, it's called Harry. <laughs> Missy, Imagine that. <laughs> Missy Grinkowitz is a crowd warmer for that show. Really? I remember yes. you saying that. Was that when she was here? You talked about her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before she, yeah. Time? No, okay. we, well, I mean, okay. I think we probably mentioned it before but she, she was when here. we talked about it with her on the show. I yeah. saw yeah. a commercial for it before I came here. It's tonight. called Harry. And like his line is, he says, "This is y'all's talk show." <laughs> y'all. <laughs> I saw I saw him perform in Philly live, and, and the show he put on was crazy insane. I love that guy. He's I man he's crush that great, dude. He's a great showman. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was in fucking Independence Day. There you go. When Harry Met Sally. There you go. That's what's up there now. Right? Isn't that what that's from, Mike? When Harry Met Sally. But yeah, that album's called We Are In Love, Harry Connick Jr. And it was it was a toss-up because I had two different albums. I would go number one, and I think the number one is like a childhood album. It's the uh, the Peppermint Candy Kids. Really? <laughs> yeah, and they did a Christmas album probably from like wow. the 70s. I don't know if you ever, you, no, you I have no all? idea what you're talking about, but yeah. that's that that one. I think I if Stefan were here, he would I think agree that that takes uh, that takes the top. That's kind of that's really that off the chart. That beats out my my off the chart shit. Do you want to hear my off the chart shit real quick? Yeah, let's hear it. Uh, it was um, Sneaker Pimps, Six Underground. Mm. Mm-hmm. Thank mm-hmm. you, Tommy. You know what the fuck <laughs> I'm talking, right? Yeah. God, where the fuck were you that day? Uh, Finley Quay, Maverick, A Strike. Ugh. You don't like no uh, Philly Quay? I have no oh. idea. I'm, I'm drawing a blank again. Well, and Stefan made fun of me, but they had one of the songs what from that album. What is the matter with you? Yeah. <laughs> you were <laughs> laughing too, Mike. Uh, one of am. the songs from that album was on Deadpool, actually. What song was it? It was uh, during the scene where him and uh, what was the girl's name that he fell in love with? You know her name. Yeah, I do, but I've been drinking. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, it was that scene where they Have connect. Sex. No, yeah. it's before. It's when they meet at the bar. Oh, okay. Huh. And uh-huh. during that scene <laughs> is when, is they, when they play Finley Quay, one of his songs. And then my number one was Bob Marley Legend. 
That's good. Do you want to hear mine? Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, Kids Bop 5. Wow. Nice. You, Kids I have Bop that. Seven. Tommy, I have Kids is, Bop 5 in my Tim, car still. Tommy has <laughs> no hesitation <laughs> whatsoever. And Master of Puppets. <laughs> nice. No, uh, I would have to say hey. uh, Collective Souls first album, Collective Souls. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then I'm going a little obscure for the next, well. Self-titled, right? I was self-titled. Yeah. All right. Uh, then Apollo 18 by They Might Be Giants. Okay. Uh, and then... Uh, Frankenstein Girls May Seem Strangely Sexy by Mindless Self Indulgence. That was your number one. The, yeah. Oh my God. I don't even know what that is. It was like nothing I'd ever heard at the time. And it's. It, uh, well, Mike, do you I, have any of I that? Got, I had none of it. All right. Old classic rock dude over uh, here. All right. Tommy. Oh my God. Speaking of classic rock, we're coming home from Albany, right? And uh, Wait, what was in Albany? Uh, funny Bone. New York. And what'd you do? We did a murder mystery and did comedy. All right. So me, Rob Mayer, Sean Gabbard, and Eric Woodworth are coming home. Sean's driving. We're going through some no-name town. Well, I'm sure it has a name, but it was <laughs> <laughs> no-name to us. <laughs> Welcome to no-name, population 10. <laughs> well, we did. There was one. I took a picture of it. Like it said, the town's name was this long. It looked like Native American thing that I couldn't pronounce. And we had to stop there to get gas. And I asked the woman at the at the counter, I was like, how do you pronounce this town's name? She was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, great. We just call you? it the res or the reservation, but it was like Mika Chaka Wapanapa. Oh my gosh, yeah. she didn't nice. even know. So I traded oh, her some awesome. smallpox blankets. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so we're coming home, and oh Eric turns God. on. He turns on the radio, and you and you heard it. Classic rock. And we're like, oh, we're gonna hear some like Bob Seger or something, right? And then it starts in the world is a vampire. And I'm like, no, no. You Jesus. are officially you felt so old. So old, <laughs> didn't you? Oh my yeah. God! Smashing Pumpkins has made the classic. One rock One day in twenty years, I'll turn on the radio. Cl- classic, and I'll hear, classic rock. 15 years now. They're going to be like, holy oh, Really? Is that here. what they're saying? Oh, 15? The meaning of pain. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's just Slayer. Like, yes. <laughs> yes, that is going to be. Could you like imagine the retirement oldies. homes of the future? Oh, my no God. No Lawrence Welk. <laughs> <laughs> no Tiny Bubbles. <laughs> It's gonna Slayer, be Slayer, Megadeth, Metallica. It's, like, it's the way we li- you know, like we listen to the fifties music is like oldies. Yeah, yeah, that was oldies. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This uh yeah, the, yeah. our our yeah. classic rock is now gonna be oldies. Oh. That's too crazy. And their their music of today is gonna be garbage. Oh, it already it is. Well, garbage. that's what I mean. It's not gonna change from existence to what it already is. Oh, Twenty one pilots is all we have there's an eighteen year old that works with uh at my work and his girlfriend broke up with him last year, right? And I was telling him, I was like, hey, buddy, you know, sometimes you just need a good wallow. I was like, here's some songs that are, are good just to sit in that depression, get it out of your system. The Verve wow. Pipe. Well, I'm sending him, like, like Collective Soul. I'm, like, sending yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, and stuff. The Verve like, Pipe. The soundtrack to the first Crow movie and stuff. Yeah. And Jesus. he's like, eh, this stuff's all right. And then he sent me this. He was like, I've been listening to this. And I think it was called, like, Sunday Porch Confessional or something. But, like, it's just this guy, like, speak rapping over this music. And it's like, uh, it was like, every time you think of me, jot the date down so you know exactly when I took a PC with me. And oh, like, I'm like, Jesus. That's scary. Oh my God. Talk like, about wallowing. Maybe you should get over her. <laughs> I think that sounds like <laughs> Tiffany Baker. Man, Mike? We need nuts? What yeah. Are you saying? <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going we're gonna to come back to hold, the... Hold uh, the nuts. That we're going to come to the, the hot seat with... with uh, Bazo and Balls, right after this break, right after this break, and we have a lot of good topics we haven't even gotten to. Is that classic rock? Already, I think we've been running for almost an hour, haven't we? 48. Damn, really? Well, my bladder is... I gotta pee. Mm -hmm. You're an old man. I am. Or you might have diabetes. I might. All right, I gotta pee. Taste your piss. (laughs) I still gotta pee. Diabetes or not, I still gotta pee. It tastes (laughs) sweet.
Yes, I do. I also like their uh, T-shirts. You got any in your closet? Some of the finest T-shirts known to man. Our listeners should take some of those T-shirts home with them, too. If they uh, used the comedy code at checkout, they could get 25% off their purchase. 25% off? 25 whole percent off. And I tell you what, when we wear our sunglasses after a long night on the road, yeah. it blocks that sun like... Like a hot knife through butter. There you go. You like it. Nectar sunglasses will pollinate your face. How do you keep shit in your ass after that? <laughs> nice, nice way to, kick way to off come in. I am so half. leaving that in. <laughs> Hell yes. So there's so clearly leaving that in. Clearly, Corbin was he was describing a ginormous <laughs> butt plug, and I'm just wondering how do you wow. how do you, after you work your way the, down to that? Did he get the iTunes the uh, the the iPhone uh, subwoofer? <laughs> <laughs> it was at the adult world that my brother worked. At. Put that mic in front of him. Wait, what's it, adult world? <laughs> It's a porn shop where you can buy porno and uh, dildos and such things like that. Mm -hmm. My brother worked there. Nice. Can we get an address for that? That's it? My sister was a Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Eric would like to go get sponsorship there. Wait, time out. That's the story. Wait, come on. There's got to be more meat to that bone than we just addressed. (laughs) (laughs) What? Oh, what? Where his brother worked? <laughs> like that was that was the basis of that well, conversation. Well, <laughs> we were talking about we, that. We saw the, this, and Matt thought it was a butt. Plug. I thought this was a butt plug. Oh, it was that yeah. piece of wood that. Oh, my Mike, knob. Mike, knob. That's yeah. my knob. Mike's, Mike's knob. Random ass shit. Dude, it's way too clean to have been used. Did you touch it? It's yeah. not even stained. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a fucking baseball size. No, my ball fingers. Size. Smells like hazy it could have been. It's very uh, clean. It I will, could have been I will definitely send my too. friend Wendy a clip of the knob. Does he look like he bleaches his asshole? I didn't say it was his asshole. I just said a bleached one. <laughs> so, Tommy, I have a quick question for you. Yeah. So, you're what? What's the show you have tomorrow night? Uh, it is at. It is the Sick Jokes Show. Yes. Sorry, I'm throwing you on, on the spot here. Hickory Avenue in Hamden. It's at that beer place, right? Is it? I mean, it is. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Isn't it? It's like a Belgian beer house or something. It's a cool place. Really just, cool. Who's who's, do you, who's running that? Who's Mark starting? Miller? Oh, Mark's running. Yeah. It. Okay. Cool. I just was curious of who, because I well, Mark asked us all to share the poster three times. Whether you, well, you had to post it originally once, and then you could share it two other times, whether it be Twitter or Facebook, and then you also had to comment on how great the lineup was. And if you didn't, you don't so get paid. So I <laughs> did. Well, it's <laughs> the thing with the show is uh, the the crowd pays for the jokes they like. So uh, okay, I'm, I'm either doing a free show or I'm <laughs> making a million dollars. Time out. Yeah. What's the rate per joke? Is it just? I would they charge up. I call them buck per chuckle. That's the <laughs> BPCs. That's seventy nine cents now. <laughs> it's, it's like a band camp show. Okay, I mean, hold it's up. kind no, of I a cool remember. concept. This one time <laughs> at band camp. Basically, what it means is that the venue didn't give Mark a budget, and but that's fine. I've done. Yeah, oh, man, there's a bunch of. Weird pictures on here. <laughs> I'm trying to find the poster. Ah, there it is. It's hold, a cool poster. Who hold did that up the to the camera, would you please? I no, don't know no, who don't did do the that. poster, but I have heard Wendy actually was like, can you tell me where your show is tomorrow? <laughs> I can't read the poster. <laughs> <laughs> I love Wendy. She is quick on the show. The show gun. is Sick Jokes Comedy. It's tomorrow can't, night, Wednesday at Wendy 8 p.m. Hamden. At Decline de, de they, they they claim claim the he said confidently. Yeah, I think the, the <laughs> venue itself is actually just as hard to find as it is to read. Well, it's 3602 Hickory Avenue in Hamden, home of rednecks and hipsters. Ah. Yes. I, it's funny because I, I had a good friend probably two or three years ago tell me that we should do comedy there, and I never picked up and ran with it. And I'm sitting here going, wow, somebody's actually doing it. Well, it's not a bad lineup. Ian Sal, you're no, winner it's not of the a good, it's not a bad 2016 uh, new talent. He's going to be there. Uh, Dan Mars Caper. Uh, Sam Dan Kelly. Uh, Michelle Sometimes Gray. What is that? Dar- it's I a female comedian. Uh, Dark Mark is going to be there. Divine like Kerr. Mark. All right. Yeah. It's no, it looks cool. Time. Looks cool. I, I'm seriously intrigued. You have to let me know how it goes and what the venue is like. Oh, whoa. <laughs> is that Michelle not so great? No, this, this is a picture. You know how like you get bots that send you friends on see. Facebook? Well, this see. one had a huge jug, so I saved the picture. 
Yeah. Nice. boy. Huge joke. You're like, oh, you're so pretty and you have no friends. <laughs> Even <Even officially, laughs> yeah. you're clearly yeah. not I a bot. I so feel sorry for you. <laughs> so, Matt, you, uh, I'm going gonna, gonna to put you in the hot seat. I think we're going to start the segment officially. Okay. I'm going to kick it off. So, uh, so I stayed home sick yesterday. Right. And uh, started, not yesterday, but maybe last week, I started a series on Amazon Prime. It's called Red Oaks. Okay. I don't know. R E D space O A K S. We're familiar with how to spell Red Oaks. Yeah. Well, it's not your last name. It's pretty <laughs> easy to spell. <laughs> just making sure. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. Balls to you. <laughs> um, and the show is basically takes place in the eighties, mm-hmm. <laughs> or back and when back in the back when they used are, to call I'm it a like, show. I'm trapped in the eighties. <laughs> Anyways, and it's basically it takes place at, in a, at a golf course, kind of like Caddyshack ish. So far, this sounds okay. thrilling. It's actually a really good. Is it show. a comedy? Yes. Okay. okay. It's kind of a little bit of dark, but it's got um, uh, Jennifer Grey from Dirty Dancing is in it. Oh, nice. How's she holding up? Not bad. Nobody nice. puts Not baby bad. in the corner. She got that nose job. It makes her almost almost like human? unidentifiable. Oh, oh right. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't uh, like the Sphinx anymore. Is Patrick Swayze in it? Uh, no. His oh, he's dead. He's, he's his dead. corpse. He's right. he's they dead. did like I'm the sorry. bone dance. It's weekend uh, Swayze. Dance. It's got Paul uh, Paul Reiser is in it. He's oh. a pretty good role. He's awesome. He plays uh like wow, an eighties. Paul Reiser. He plays like an eighties. Uh, oh wait, I thought hedge fund Rudd. owner. Okay. Uh, just he's just it's it's great, and then it has uh the other bigger actor is uh Cooper Gooding Jr. No, <laughs> Cooper Gooding. Jr. Did you see Project <laughs> whatever that Project X where the two kids like documented the the raging party and they burned yeah, the yeah, yeah 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 the like the dorky quick the, like friend that was like the one promoting the whole weekend okay like the chubby kid I don't remember that kid no, I don't remember that he's in it he's though? in it um, is he still chubby yes. Wow. And uh, I'm trying to think of another bigger ish. Well, what's it's just a comedy. It's about just a golf it's a comedy about the, the golf course, and the lead role is this kid, and he's like in his early 20s, and he's trying to like. Is it a coming of do. age sort of movie? No. Has he touch? Has he had sex before? Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Pass. Does it's anybody th- throw up in a Porsche? No, not okay. that I can remember. Does he okay. have to awkwardly hide an erection at any point? <laughs> I don't remember. These are not the things that I'm like. <laughs> it's it's a good show. Anyways, you said something earlier, and you had your strong like Philly like accent, and it just made. I was like, oh man, he's got to check this, this. I love how you call him out for that, but you were like, go down a UPS store. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt has Put no accent. I'm, I'm very monotone. There's no accent. It's All just right, straight. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fuck, fuck you. What, I what told was you? Fuck you guys. What was the hot that's seat? That's a radio with the red oaks. Then. All right. No it accent. was just kind of. The, I was kicking it off. So. Oh, okay. The first, the first true, true question of you in the hot seat is. All right. When are you going to book Tommy Simbazo <laughs> in one of your shows? <laughs> and he's a headliner. He's a headliner okay. man. He's a headliner man. Yes. Have, but he doesn't want to drive man. to Philly. I'll drive to Philly. That's okay. cool. He just drove to New York City. I drive. Yeah, that's closer then. Well, first I got to get a venue up there. Because I, I lost the venue. so No oh. deal then. Yeah. Well, fuck. I thought you, you had, still had venue, something no going. Deal. Well, we were still doing stuff at the brewery, but it wasn't nobody. It wasn't panning out the way. Like, well, Stefan came up and did that one show there yeah, yeah. at the brewery, and but they've redone the whole place. Now it's like a full-on bar, and uh, it's it's nice. to It's the, the setup, the bar, the lighting, everything's cool, but it just didn't. It was not conducive to comedy. The mm-hmm. crowd that's coming in there is a live music crowd all the time, classic rockers. Drinking their beer and listening to their Nirvana, <laughs> yeah, and their uh, Stone Temple Breakfast pilots. Club, yeah, their Stone Temple Pilots, all that classic rock, <laughs> yeah, all that classic. So rock. wait, the so Hooters. wait, are you still doing? There was a festival that you were doing at one point in time. Are you still doing that? We did one last year. It was all, um, it was all music, and okay. it was like a two-year celebration for the brewery. We had an Irish rock band uh, named Barley Juice came out. And then our house them. band, Barley. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. Uh, um, you know who? Bar- I I know the leader of Barley Juice. Is that the Keith? leader, Keith Brewer. Yeah. A Raven. What? What? One of the Ravens, Rob Fahey, the Ravens. Mm-hmm. Keith, Keith Brewer. Brewer. Yeah. Is the band the Ravens? Yes. Okay. It's very. They were they were <laughs> it's very amazing. Confusing. I was like, Lodi Nada leads football? this band. Not like, the R A V Y N S. Honestly. Need to specify. <laughs> R A V E. 
Uh, how long have you been in Baltimore? <laughs> long enough. Yeah. I like how he's flipping this on me. Yeah, I'm no, I'm the idiot. You idiot! You never <laughs> heard I, got I got this. I got this. That's all right. I got this. Uh huh. Uh huh. So yeah, I just, I just need to, I need to find a venue. Well, basically. fuck! I lied to you, Tommy. I guess you're not getting a booking. <laughs> I don't care. I actually, I had <laughs> sitting next to Cooper makes it all work. <laughs> Good. No, Cooper. I had like two. Well, I, I meant Corbin. <laughs> Cooper. 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 Corbin Cooper. Cooper Gooding Jr. Corbin's like, Good pal. Drink some more tequila. <laughs> Drink you some should, more of Clooney uh, Starfish. You should have some hazy, some more <laughs> hazy. Uh, no, uh, I've had two or three people come up to me within the last six months about running a show for them for either benefits or stuff like that. So, thinking about it, I just need a venue. And that's all, and I'm ready to go. But you know, that's kind of typically my biggest problem is a venue. It's it, it finding one that supports the comedy and, and isn't like, okay, yeah, we'll let you come in and do whatever you want, and yeah. uh, it's gonna if it doesn't succeed, then you're out. You know, it's kind of like, yeah. come on, I, you got to support it. You got to back it up. Well, that's what, what happened where I was. Music? Okay. That's what happened where Ravens. I was. Oh, okay. Was it? Is that was that a guess or? I'm guessing. Is that a guess? All right. It was a good one, I guess. Well, I it, thought he could, meant the football team. I didn't know that <laughs> Keith ever played football. That, that's what it's exactly Ray what and I was saying. Football. It's, it's Ray wow. Lewis and the Ravens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keith Brewer with the O-line Nose backup tackle. singers. <laughs> 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 uh, so that was if that that was the hot seat question. Oh, there's more. Oh, all right. That was that was just kind of the, just that was the ice cutting breaker. the teeth, cutting the right. teeth. Uh, and I'm gonna, I, I think I've asked you this, but were, were you not a teacher or an educator in the past life? Mm, no, I was. <laughs> um, no, I was never. I was I never you were a, teacher. a teacher. I thought you were like a, a Walt Whitman science teacher of some Walt sort. Walt Whitman, no. I was ne- I've never been a teacher. So Walter all, White. I'm sorry, Walter are White. Are all these questions just based on things you assume? <laughs> yeah. You know about it? And this seat's really hot. <laughs> it's, it's my scrotum is sizzling right Ooh, now. Who asked the tough question? Hold on, I can turn that down. All right, <laughs> I got to hear about experiences. All right, here's where it's going to get hard. Okay. <laughs> where I'll, it's going to get hard. Right. He's actually going to oh, have an was, answer for it. This is going to sound really fucked up hard. now because I... I <laughs> hard. Uh... <laughs> 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 Here it goes. Uh, so, what are the, what have been the the toughest experiences raising three w- daughters, girls? Um, <laughs> finding a place to hide <laughs> is the hardest experience. <laughs> no, um, it, you know, most parents will say that you know my kids are good kids, and, and for the most part, they are. Well, they it, are when they're with other people. I'm not yes. saying your kids. I'm saying in general. Yes. They always happen to be on their best when they're with other people. With other people. And other people are like, oh, my God, I would die to have that, you know. And, and then they come home and it's like, who the fuck are you? Like, I, we just got complimented on how amazing yes. you are. And I want to murder you right now. I love you, but I want to murder you right I wanna, now. I want to. I out one time at one point, my youngest sat her down on the steps and got like grill to grill with her and, and showing teeth. I said. I wish you were a, a boy yeah. because I would punch you right in the face <laughs> yeah, right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I think the hardest experience with them is uh, getting them to clean up after themselves. <laughs> I always had this, this like uh, thought that women were neat yeah, and no. clean and they're not. I've, they're, I've, they're very I've dated, sloppy. I've dated some pretty. That's the construct of the <laughs> social patriarchy. Ever <laughs> seen the ladies' room? It's not pretty. Did you see no, the, it's always the dirtiest. All the signs left over on the street from the women's market. <laughs> I know. Hey, all the pink hats. That was disgusting. Hey, no. But they were actually left in front of the hotel that Donald Trump was staying in. So, that, so that's that makes perfect. It okay. There you go. That's oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wondered um, if that was intentional. Mm-hmm. Experiences. The hardest thing is is now my oldest daughter, who will turn seventeen on Friday. Um, uh, within the last year, had her first official boyfriend. Oh boy! So that was probably the hardest experience, having to deal with another man in the house because I, I was the only man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, definitely. Did you get him to talk like I own guns? Well, I don't. Nothing so that was. I had this lie. <laughs> I have a lie. A lot. <laughs> lie. You have no, a shovel, a gun, and a bag of lime. Bag of lime. Boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I date a girl whose dad like took me down to the. 
basement to show me his gun vault. Yeah, and I was like, this that's is a, right. And he never said he would shoot me if anything, but he it was heavily. Oh, implied. it was a very high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I thought right. of like my experiences growing up. Yeah, oh, your stepdad. Yeah. Stepdad. You're her stepdad. Yeah, he was jealous. Well, I I had thought of my, to my experiences. Last ex. Who's ex? I said the, well, thanks to my last ex. Your, oh, your last ex. I have no guns. Shh. Okay. 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 Interesting. All right. Like we're gonna we're gonna put a right pin now. In, we're gonna put a pin in that one. Yeah. No, so, uh, I thought about like what it, when she told me she had this boyfriend. I thought about what I had to go through as a guy when I would meet dad for the first time, and I dated a girl who uh, there was no doubt in my mind that her dad was was a made mafia guy. Like it was, he wow. owned a coffee shop. <laughs> there was illegal gambling in the basement, and I distinctly remember a night when a guy came in. They all took him to the basement, and when the police came, nobody knew that he was there. <laughs> so, like, that was what that was a girl that I dated. Oh so, when God. when Vincenzo said, "Yo, you better have a home at three o'clock," she was home at three o'clock. Like, there was no <laughs> there was no beating around the bush. And if, then, if Matt goes missing tonight, he is not in Mike's woodshed. <laughs> no, just no. saying that is. Yeah. I would never expose anyone so, to that. When he came in, did you like come on He's over and you and... you like turned a chair backwards and sat in it backwards and be like, "Hey, bro, yo, what's let's, up, dog? Let's, no, uh, let's rap." What I did was I had just had uh, we we use a uh, wood stove to heat our house at home, <laughs> so I I got a I had a wood delivery out back and I asked him if he's a he's a wrestler, mm -hmm. and I asked him if he would come out and help me stack the firewood and we were standing. We're standing in the garage, and I filled his arms up full of firewood, and then he looked at me. I was like, I'll tell you this one time. And he said, what? I said, that's the only wood you're ever going to have in your hands around my daughter. Oh. <laughs> that'll work. That'll, that'll work. So that's kind of, that was that Boom. was my threat. Nice. You know, that was my threat. And it wasn't very threat. you kissed him. Yeah. <laughs> full on the mouth. Tongue, teeth, everything. So, so he's wait, really good. So you kissed him, his... and then you whisper in his ear, I have dibs. P.S. <laughs> I'm horny. Yes. <laughs> So wait, wait, what was his reaction to that? He just kind of looked at me and kind of gave me a smile. Kind of, not like a bad smile, like a nervous smile. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's like, yes, okay. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Finger bang over. I, I read <laughs> yes, you loud. I understand. I understand. I understand. I read you loud and clear. But he was, I mean, uh, the stories went around when I was trying to think. And I've, I've been in food my entire life. Like, I've always been in kitchens cooking. And I was always saying that I couldn't be that threatening mafia guy. Or my father-in-law is a retired... Uh, steam fitter from 420 and he's a big irish catholic guy and i couldn't be threatening but i could teach him how to whip some egg whites in a heartbeat <laughs> and then tell him keep your egg whites off my daughter <laughs> but it was very you know, subtle yeah it was very subtle but i did have a guy who was an ex-navy seal tell me what mike was saying the the shovel and the bag of lime and just have it by the front door and yeah so come on let's go dig a hole but they've they've since um they're not together anymore which is much to my dismay, I'm so sad about that. Another one will come along. Yeah, they will. But that's probably the the biggest, the hardest experience so far is having to deal with that. See, and that's that's the thing is I I remember I was a real son of a bitch growing up, a little piece of shit. So I kind of know a lot of the tricks, and I'm just kind of curious of how I'm gonna use that to my advantage to fuck with them. Oh yeah. And uh, I do have a lot of guns. So that's scary. That's nice. a good thing you don't. You we know, need I'm to not talk single. later. What's that? What's that old saying? If you have a boy, you only have to worry about one hey, dick. One dick. Right. Here, we go. Here we go. You got to worry about all, all of them. Dicks. And I always say, what do you think? I'm raising a fucking brothel. Like, <laughs> I have three daughters, a wife, and a gay dog. So <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm raising a brothel or something? Well, here's the thing. I have a daughter, and uh, we're having another one in March. Another, another daughter? Another girl. Nice. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And, and we haven't even had her yet. And people are like, so are you going to go for that boy? And I'm like... Am I gonna play that Russian roulette yet? I don't fucking know. I gotta no. still. I gotta have the second one first. Get through this. <laughs> yeah, and my and it puts my wife on the spot where we're having these conversations at dinner. We're like, are we gonna have a third? And we're just like, why are we having this fucking conversation? Like we you, we still haven't had the second one. We don't even know what our lives are gonna mm -hmm. be like. Yeah. Stop it. Oh, it's. And we were so dead set that that this one was gonna be a boy because her pregnancy. I like her pregnancy was completely different. Okay. Her mom, I think. My mother-in-law, love her to get to death. Don't get me wrong, but love this woman mom. has very special, like powers. 
powers. Like is she, she Italian? Yes. See, I Very know. Italian. Oh, scary. No. And she'll scary say powers. shit, and you're just like, whatever. Did she like wave a crystal over? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's going to no. be a boy. But she has these, uh, uh, the, and she's like really into sports, and she'll call sport. Like, there's a lot of times where I'm kind of like, I want to call her up and be like, can can you tell me what's going to happen? Because I want to put money on this shit. Does she ever own a DeLorean? No. Oh, okay. (laughs) But she does have an almanac from the (laughs) (laughs) No, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) She has this book that she guards with her life, though. Uh, But no, I mean, we were all like, just, it's going to be a boy. And I was like, oh, I'll be happy as long as it's healthy. And they're like, another girl. I was like, fuck. Yeah. Well, yeah. No. When I when I was remarried, so my oldest one is from my first marriage, and then okay. Meredith and I have been together, and, and we had Aaron, and then we were going to have another, and we didn't find out either time what it was going to be a boy or girl. We just figured we'd wait till the oh, day it popped out. More power to so, you. So yeah. So when when um, I think her last pregnancy with uh, Shannon was like you said was different. So we kind of thought yeah. it was a chance it was going to be a boy. Yeah, yeah. And um, she was born, and they said you got a baby girl, and I remember her, my wife looking at me saying, I am so sorry. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. And I was like, it's okay. Like, it's fine. It's totally yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, and she's yeah. like, do you want to try again? I was like, I'm already dialing the urologist. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, there's not going to be four. No yeah, way. Yeah. No. And that's, I'm, I'm like, yeah, no, I got to see how the second one goes. Yeah. And then it's going to be, maybe you'll luck out. She'll be a lesbian. I mean, Hey, yeah, yeah that's no. always a toss up though. I mean, my buddy used to say that, that he would be perfectly happy if his daughter grew up and was a lesbian. Mm-hmm. And then I said, yeah, but what if she hooks up with some butchy ass lesbian yeah. that just beats the hell out of her uh. like any other derelict guy would? And he's yeah, like, yeah. hey, you got a point. Thanks a lot. <laughs> well, and that's the thing, too, I've, I've considered is like, hey, you know, we'll go for the boy, you know, and we'll have the third kid. It'll be a boy. Great. But he could be gay. So it's like you never know what the fuck could happen. He could be gay by association because he's got two older daughters exactly. or sisters. Sisters. Two older daughters. So, yeah, that's no. Creepy. Again, you, you just <laughs> you never I know. I was born yeah. with two older daughters. <laughs> All right. My balls were really big. <laughs> Stefan would say, "All right." <laughs> uh, yeah, no. So that's I, that was one of my questions: is should I play Russian roulette? But I think that that has uh, no. Well, congratulations on another another girl. I yeah. I gotta say, somebody told me to my neighbor. He has two girls, and he said, and and you may know this or you'll know this that when a daughter says she loves you is like just oh, the yeah. way it feels is completely different. And it's the truth. Oh yeah. It really is. No, I don't get me wrong. I love Olivia too. I mean, I, yeah, I would, do I would do, I would pistol? murder. People. Yeah. Multiple. Multiple. Yeah. Why are you asking me that way? I like the way he's looking at you too. Yeah, I know. I'm curious. <laughs> you you just look like a revolver guy. Uh, I like the action of a luger. I don't have a revolver. I do too. Yeah. I usually can get it to like suck back. But up. here's the thing: is my dad. <laughs> oh, you luger! I think we have two, two different conversations. <laughs> okay, there it goes. It's, it's about that. Go ahead. No, I have. My dad has a couple of revolvers, which I'll probably end up with at one point in time. And uh, I was never a big semi-automatic guy. And then I don't know what happened, but I have a 22 mag, which is not a big gun, but. Well. I mean, it's a ball buster, and then I uh, went to the uh, forty-five, so I'm forty-five. Oh, all right. Uh, and then I uh, have a three eighty, which is an extremely small gun, but that has got a that thing Powerful. throws a chunk of fucking lead. That I've heard, I would. I've heard of that number and the same kind of description you're uh, saying. Well, here's the, here's what happened. So fingerprinting was going to go into effect in Maryland. And I was like, fuck that. I'm going to buy my gun. I'm not I'm not going to be treated like a criminal to buy a gun. Yeah. So, right. Come so, on now. So I called up the, the dealer that I work with and I was like, hey, uh, his, what do you got? His dealer. <laughs> he said, what's in your trunk? And this is in uh, Essex or Dundalk. And I was like, uh, what, do you, what do you guys have? And she's like, well, it's Lynn Pickens. I'm like, I understand that. Just tell me what you got. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's so <laughs> shady. Is there a man scramble for guns here in Dundalk. Dundalk. They have it's, serial numbers on yeah, the guns. Yeah, they all scratched, yeah, yeah. It's nail all, filed off. It's all legit. <laughs> uh, and uh, she just starts rambling shit off. She's like, "Yeah, we got a 380 Ruger." And I'm like, "All right, well, Rugers are good. They're a good one. I, you know, I've got a couple of those. I like it." And I'm like, "I, I have no idea what what size it is." And she's like, "I was like, just hold it. I'll come in and I'll take a look at it." And I go in and look, man. That thing. I mean, I have big hands, but this gun could fit in like in my hand it's tiny 
but it holds it would fit seven really rounds. Really well in your boot. And I bought, or yeah. Well, and I bought it because I'm because <laughs> I'm gonna get. Hey, ass. keystring is allowed. Okay. <laughs> Uh, God's and holster. I, and I, it is. And I bought it, and I'm like, what? this is going to be my conceal and carry when I get yeah. I'm going to get my conceal and carry one point in time. But I'm like, this is going to be my conceal and carry. Like, do this you, little thing. Do you, do you earn it's so away? small, you can you can wear it in your bodice. Yes. <laughs> you fucking I saw bitch. the bullet. I was like, man, this gun. I was like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, can you show me the, the bullet? And she pulled that thing out. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Like, it's. Have you shot it before? Oh, yeah. The thing yeah. is money. It's pretty accurate. But anyways. Uh, uh, I have a muzzle loader. That's my revolver. There's a 33 caliber. I'm going to get a total loss. Lead ball. I feel like a gaming conversation just started I, all over I, again. I'm like, all right. I need a new, I need a new carry. <laughs> all right. See, what's really fucked up is I've been a chef for like close to 30 years. I've been in the food, and I have like one chef's knife. And you hunt, and you've got like an, an like a, a arsenal of guns. That's just a few of them. <laughs> I got one knife. <laughs> I got a lot of knives, too. Let's see? Look. It's creepy. You want to pull Corbin, our dicks out Corbin and see who's bigger? <laughs> Corbin, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the remote start on the car, Corbin. <laughs> Just get us past the woodshed. Yeah, it's an awful long right. conversation for a uh, for a, a podcast that is pretty much recorded in a woodshed. <laughs> <laughs> I got pretty lots of much, knives and guns. Pretty much. I can uh, probably stick it in your asshole. <laughs> none of you saw that. Uh, practice target deer out there, did you? Yeah. It's no, I didn't. <laughs> it's dark. It's, all I saw was chairs and a tow truck. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and a Dodge Ram. All right, so the last, uh, since we digress, the last hot seat question Oh, there's is, a third one? Yeah. Fuck. This is the this is the big one. What's the big one? So, And I'm not judging, because I don't judge on oh, these sort of things. Oh, Tommy doesn't either. Hmm. Tommy's he's a very open-minded gentleman. Uh, in, in a lot of our conversations building up to this podcast, there were lots of mentions of you really loving golden showers. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, yeah. I want to know where this came from, and is this a true uh, thing that you really have? No, it's, it's actually not a true thing. But He's <laughs> lying. No, I'm, no, I'm actually I'm not lying. It's not a true thing. I um, put myself out there. Find and, out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Trying to be personal. That's well, what I have fucking happen. Well, I have Mike, a title. Mike, he never said, "Don't talk about my golden showers." Oh, so. I, I have a title. I'm, hey, I'm not. I'm not. That was uh, the whole thing that I thought about the whole Donald Trump thing. It really sucks for the people that are really into that fetish and have to pretend it's disgusting. Well, that's yeah. right. There was something yeah. about that, wasn't yeah. there? I didn't even. So I was, that is even a connection. Well, uh, you know, three. Russian hookers are the best kind. <laughs> Then he piss all over his hotel beds or something. Is yeah. that what it was? Other, I, it was I other hotel I heard beds. That he would they have said, oh, other hotels. Yeah. He stayed right. in a hotel that Obama had stayed in, and then he got Russian prostitutes to come in and piss on each other on the bed. Now I don't know nice. if he was involved in it, but it's also a fake news story. So. Did you s- talk? And uh, I'm, I will wait, answer the, wait. this hot seat question. Fake news story? Yes, it's alternative facts. Ah. <laughs> uh. Did you see the um the, <sighs> the girl the feminist movement girl from some group called Femin or Femin F E M E N Femin I would call it that family. she came out topless and and danced in front of a Trump wax figure and then grabbed yes. his crotch Did you yeah, see yeah, that I, I, Yeah <laughs> I saw Unfortunately, that video. I see it, but I heard that about it That was a great video Did you ever see you, have you seen that gif of uh, the topless woman charging like running at Putin She's like, yeah. <laughs> no, and before no. he does anything, he looks at it. He gives like a thumbs up and nods. Like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So nice. no, the the golden shower thing. Go back like about two quizzo nights, and it was we had we had a uh, tiebreaker. Time measurement. Yeah, we had a tiebreaker uh, uh, that needed to be done, and the two teams were. <laughs> it was uh, two girls on one end of the bar, and they what their team up? name was I, IPA. IPA Lot was their team name. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, it was a great Clever. name. And then the other team was Send Nudes, and it was a bunch of like 19, 20 some year old college kids, boys and girls mixed together. Nice. Yeah, really nice. And um, there was a Star Wars question, and the the team of the two girls wanted two points awarded. It was this long drawn out battle in the bar. They thought they should get a tie, so I said, "All right, we're going to have a tiebreaker, Ooh. and the tiebreaker is going to be I'll ask three questions." And they were still giving me a hard time. So I said, all right, here's the deal. I'm sick of all you fuckers 
and this is what's going to happen. No matter who wins or who loses, one team is giving the other team a golden shower. Oh. And they were like, why? I was like, because you're pissing me off, and I want to see something that I want to enjoy. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to yeah. piss. Somebody's getting pissed on Kyle the nights out. Golden showers. I like so it. So that's where it kind of came from, and that term just had the last couple of weeks has kind of come up in a lot of conversations. I had a girl pee Again, on me. I don't, there we go. All right. Sorry. See? Again, no judgment. Just no, no, no. Uh, no I did not at my request. Like hey, she it never comes me. at your request. She was like, "Can That's I?" She it. was like, "Can I? Can I like uh, pee on you sometime?" And I was like, Bigfoot. and in my head, I was like, "Oh, if I say yes to this, there is nothing she can't say no to after this." That's there true. Go. I've got you her. Own her. Curly. So I yeah. let her pee on my leg in the shower. Oh, and then she dumped me. So you didn't get it's to try any no, cool I didn't shit. Get to do it's anything. because you no, let her fuck. pee on your leg and hey, you hey. Peed, she peed on you and she was like, you what should an have been like yeah. this guy's weird. Been like, what a cuck. I bet God you damn I bet it. What is the matter with you? Still be with her if you let her just go full blow on your face or your chest. Nah, I'm good. She was insane. Absolutely insane. I mean yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Was she the one that was There's the crazy one. women out there? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh shit. She wasn't the one from the um, LARPing. Did you meet uh, my last wife? Was it? No. No, that's yeah. right. She, she wasn't the one that job. gooed up the Paul Masson bottle or <laughs> no, the Paul Masson jug. Not Carolyn Coss. Carol what? Carolyn Coss. Carolyn Coss. Carolyn Coss. What, Carolyn Coss. Carolyn Coss. what Coss. was the last time you. Because uh, she liked it. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one that gooed up the bottle? Yeah. <laughs> we can tag her when this. I'll definitely. Yeah. Tag wait, wait. Her. Are put, you still friends wait, with her? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, oh that's awesome. Put that in your search engines. Thank you. Carolyn Koss. Carolyn Koss. So what does Carolyn do for work these days? Carolyn oh, works no. at uh, a at, bottling company. She works, at... <laughs> she, she works for <laughs> Anheuser Busch. <laughs> she's a she's a professional bottle opener. She <laughs> bottles for George Clooney's <laughs> tequila. Not, <laughs> oh, and believe God. it or not, alcohol did not play oh, a role. My God. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, tequila. She's the last stop on the Anheuser Busch tour. <laughs> She will open your <laughs> bottle for Is you. Is she there with the Clydesdales? Uh, yeah. Some has to loosen them she up. Should do com- <laughs> she should do comedy. No, she does. She was a band. Easy. She sang. She's a performer. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Nice. She was apparently she was a performer that, with bottles. That was her big closer. Or <laughs> that was opener, closer. I should say. Ping pong balls are second best. The bottles. <laughs> she can take a, a piece of charcoal, shove it in there, and like, spit out a dime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. So yes, that was it. Three questions? Yeah, that was it. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty pretty easy, right? Man, I w- I should have talked about different stuff than to give you. Yeah, that that so, whole golden shower was literally like within the last couple of weeks, kind of popped. Up. I mean, as everything I said, you were like, "Ooh, golden showers." And I was like, "I know," because wow. I, I I mean, I again, I'm not. I no judgment. I've got no problems with it. I'd let somebody pee a female <laughs> pee on me, but. I was just interested. I was like, "Wow, he's really on this hot, hot <laughs> what a sexist. hot topic." You would only let. <laughs> Women. Yeah, hot topic. Hot topic. <laughs> well, warm body temperature topic. Yeah, that warm, tempid, infectious, tempid, tempid. Pee is sterile. I've pissed. I've taken a bath at my fiance and pissed in it, and then got out. Like I was sitting behind her, and like I, <laughs> I pissed a little bit, thinking she'd feel and be like, "Stop it!" Right? Yeah, no, nothing. And then like I pissed harder, and she's not turning around, so I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> like expecting like, blood yeah. to come shooting out. Yeah, and there's and like then, a fucking turd floating behind you. You're just squeezing so hard. <laughs> and she oh, didn't say that. anything, so I'm like, I got to get out. So I got <laughs> out, and she's like splashing her face. Uh, she's like, oh, oh, I'll be out of here. Wait, Lou? She didn't say yeah, anything about oh, the yellow color. It was you the turd told? that was floating around. <laughs> you're like, all right, I got to go get some toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, I got to get out and wipe. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> So, Tommy, I know this is kind of an older thing, but I, I just can't get away from it. It's the woman that keeps smashing her face into the bread products on the Internet. Yes. I've, I've, no, I've not, not seen that. <laughs> <laughs> I, You know what I'm talking yeah, about, yeah. right? She like, has like a loaf oh, of fresh baked like, bread. Yeah, yeah, and it's and different just, bread. And yeah, I brought just, this up last week, but I just can't get away from it. It's... Is she of Asian descent? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now yeah. I saw the yes, video. She, she is, is of Asian, Asian. descent. Yeah, of course she is. Of course. And <laughs> I I saw a I saw a, a post and somebody was like, Well, judging by <laughs> judging by that loaf, it looks like it's made by, I don't know, Murphy's <laughs> Murray's bakery in in uh, Long Island. Was so they're trying to Monk? figure out where she's <laughs> from. What? What was it posted by Monk? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but they're trying to like pinpoint where she's 
from where she's doing this at. Why? Who cares? Exactly. <laughs> I was just like, she just smashes her face. She like it, rolls it on it sometimes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like and at first, I was like, this is stupid. Oh, this is actually kind of a weird and erotically uh, appealing. <laughs> so, you got turned on by an Asian girl smashing little her bit, face into bread. Just for a hot second. Yeah. Was there any pound cake? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it all just bread? I don't know. I'm sure that you could probably Google pound cake. I can't do that. <laughs> carbs. Sure. It's too many carbs. <laughs> what the pound cake? Yeah, the, the it's a, fuck it's, a girl she smashes her face into bread. <laughs> oh. Are you expecting her to be, like do that to your dick? Like she goes to give you a blowjob, <laughs> starts smashing. She's like rubs it in your dick. <laughs> I mean, you know, I guess. Sure, why not? <laughs> Tommy, have you heard of chatterbait? Chatterbait. Yeah. For fishing? <laughs> Is that your new sponsor? Yeah. Did you work in That's a plug it. for a sponsor? <laughs> That's it. Brought plug. to you by Chatterbait. Plug. Uh. <laughs> what is chatter? I can I, imagine it's like, uh, is it what they're calling a cyber sex nowadays? Yeah, I guess it's a website that you could basically sign up for and create an account. Uh -huh. What was it? What's it's the promo the code? Put in enter comedy. 10% <laughs> 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 You could be our, you could be our first one. <laughs> Uh no I don't, uh yeah so no it's a basically a website you create an account and then you can go on and basically masturbate mm -hmm. and get paid to do it because then people watch it. You motherfuckers! I'm buying a Lambo. There is a <laughs> it's about ah. time I start. I'm going pro. And, and <laughs> so I was I was talking to an old friend and he like told me about this and I'm like wow. Uh, sure. I gotta ask I gotta no ask friend. Tommy about this. No, no, what? Why are they paying you? What are, what are it's they? It's just like a porn it? site. Only Li it's it like live. live it's a live feed of of you. Of yeah. Well, not of me. It's just another but webcam if, chick of, place. On cam number yeah, six. Yeah, it's a, like it's a webcam. It's like it's the a webcam cam. thing, and, and they they're literally not filming you or not watching you jerk off. Yeah. Can you name your price? So, I that I don't know. Who I don't wants know. To see <laughs> me jerk off. Sometimes I've had my my screensaver go off on my laptop, and I catch a, a picture of the reflection of my own face. I don't want to <laughs> fucking see that. I know, but you could potentially make a couple hundred bucks off of like one session. No one wants to look at really. This. No one's paying yeah. me. If well, you're, if wait you're a, minute. a chick, you've got to have some good stamina hey, to get a couple. Do hundred I have bucks. to smash bread into my face? <laughs> I mean, that's optional. You could, Deals off. you could do a couple shots of tequila, smash some bread in your face, and then jerk off, and then people will pay. Well, not people, but the site because you are the a fucking because I guess the you are a fucking dreamer. Because no, well, the site's making money off of the advertisement, so of then they're people paying. Watching me. They pay you direct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He Whatever they make money, they make. They get. They just the company pays to you because they're just basically getting this collection of people that are just doing live like sex master but whatever See, that, I mean, that's like part of my issue like the 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 level of of um access to pornography yeah and that's part of the that's part of the rough experience with having a, a kid like a daughter is that i i look at when i was growing up or like uh, we're all kind of like close yeah, yeah. to the same yeah, age yeah. like i went through like a progression of addiction from like um I went to uh, my dad had paperback war novels that I used to jerk off to. Okay, uh, which was, sounds sounds very weird, but if you like, <laughs> if you leaf through the book, you'll, bit. you'll find like it'll say breast now and then or something, and if you flip back a couple pages, it's like a rape scene when like a soldier like raped a German farm girl or something, and it was kind of hot, you know. And then it was, <laughs> and then it was, uh, it was, uh, oh, so it was one eight hundred numbers. You remember those? Like in the yeah, in yeah, the paper? yeah, yeah, one nine hundred, one nine hundred, one nine hundred. Look, and, growing um, up, I found my porn in the woods just like everybody else. <laughs> Mine was in the trash. <laughs> yeah. My neighborhood girls brought it to me, my bitches. Oh, I nice. remember one day, my, uh, it was during the summer, me and my, my buddy were just like, we want to have a squirt gun battle out in the yard, you know, hot summer day. <laughs> and your sister didn't bring a gun. No. And, uh, <laughs> and a white t-shirt. And we're like, we are roaming around the house trying to find, like, he's like, I know I got this squirt gun somewhere. We're looking everywhere, and we're like, on top of the bookshelf in the living room and we get up there we're like feeling around and we're just like and we get up there and look and it's just this fucking mecca of vhs tapes oh, just straight what? up porn nice and we were like we were probably in our fucking 13 14 years old man this was I mean, oh, yeah. it doesn't that's get it. That's just any. when you find it. That's no like, parents. Yeah, the perfect yeah. time. That's when you've and leveled up like, and you've unlocked it, that achievement. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and this is in, like, June. And we got no parents for, like, 
two oh, solid man. months. We had hours to log, and yeah, we're just like, had... we're like, is this really happening right Dongs now? Dongs had rug rash. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, I actually found my dad had the same kind of stash, and I remember finding it, and um, I would I was working in a restaurant when I found out. I'd come home late at night, and I'd put it in the VCR. I was still living at home, and uh, I forget. I don't remember what it was, but I was watching the movie. I went to bed, and it was a Saturday night, and Sunday my grandparents came over. And my dad and mom were downstairs, and my mom's parents were there. And my dad went to put the VCR on so my grandfather could watch John Wayne. <laughs> and you know how it would automatically start playing? <laughs> it came right up to, like, titties oh, flapping boy. everywhere and the chick screaming, <laughs> and my grandmother almost passed out. And my dad walked in my bedroom, <laughs> beat me in across the head with a tape and broke it and asked oh, me why no. I brought this smut in his house. And I was like, I it's found yours. it in your room. <laughs> And then I he just he proceeded it from to, you. <laughs> yes. I from watching you. I, I like from the, the Grand Fox part like, this is Hondo. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Is this Mandingo? <laughs> <laughs> My dad did the same thing. I found a bunch of like sleazy magazines in his uh in his sock drawer and then uh i got caught with him in my room my dad was like in front of my mom was like how dare you bring this right button? but you know what i didn't sell him you out. didn't I sell him like, out mm -hmm. good for you no, i did i was a that's bitch. hard that's a hard thing to take on and just own yeah i was I like yep you never, you never got, got caught? caught damn you super I'm, gonna talk, I'm gonna talk to felicia oh she called oh she yeah. called <laughs> well, parents, my parents. oh your parents Wow. Oh, I got caught so many times it stopped being awkward. <laughs> Mom would just tell me, wash my hands, dinner's ready. <laughs> well, we found, um, and it was funny because it was on like Showtime or something the other day, and I recorded it. I haven't watched it yet because I was like, oh, this is kind of nostalgic. Uh, it was uh, I Spit on Your Grave from yeah. like the 70s. Was that the 70s? Mm -hmm. Where the guy, was it? I don't remember, where the guy's like on a bachelor party or something, and they... It was a strip. I don't remember the front story, but basically she gets revenge on them. I don't remember if they raped her or it was rapey-ish, but she gets revenge <laughs> on like these the driveway. Fuckers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna reenact a male version. Oh yes. <laughs> I found uh, uh, I what I, so I just got this new thing called Cody. Right, you know what Cody is? <laughs> is that the sister of Chatterbox? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Is that Alexa's <laughs> brother? <laughs> oh, fuck Alexa. Oh, my God. Okay, look, since you only have four listeners, I feel that I can tell this. <laughs> All right. <Okay. laughs> Basically, anything that runs an Android operating system, you can run a thing called Cody, right? And Cody lets you stream video and music content from uh, uh, repositories, just sites that have all this content. You can just stream it, right? Well, then you can choose where to look for content, and there's one called Exodus. And Exodus, you have access to any movie, any television show that has ever been made, even current now, for wow. absolutely free. You're Holy streaming tour. Really? Yeah, you can you can load it on an Amazon oh, torrent. Stick. Okay, I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So uh, I went to go look for because like I, I'll tell people to come over and I'm like name anything and I'll I'll show you an episode or I'll I'll bring it up. And I was uh, I thought to myself I was like oh there was a scene from this uh, skin flick like a, a softcore porn on Cinemax that I saw in the '90s that I jerked off to. Let me see if I can <laughs> find it. Full body massage? No, it was uh, Return to Savage Beach. All right, nice. And uh, I <laughs> looked for it. And it didn't. They didn't have it. It was the one thing Cody didn't have. But then I, now I had it stuck in my head, so I had to go on Amazon and I bought the fucking. Thing. <laughs> and like I watched that one scene, I was like, "This doesn't." I'm way beyond this. <laughs> this is not doing That's that why anything. I'm afraid to watch. I spit on your grave because I'm gonna watch it and be like, "What the." Yeah, fuck is like That's really. Like if you're telling I watch this, addict, I watch you, this and got a boner. Like what you tell is a heroin this? act, like, "Hey, you know what really get you off? Spin around in a circle a bunch." Just spin like I did when I was a kid. Just like you know, this, 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 I'm not keep sucking doing my dick it. for the, dizziness. And the more you do it, the dizzier you'll get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could just go and go and go and not be addicted to it. Here's a bunch of sugar and cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I found we got we you mentioned Alexa and we got a my wife's boss gave her one for Christmas. Like how I segued that in. And I didn't even realize that um that I didn't realize it'll Bluetooth to your phone. I, I was unaware yeah. of that. Shit, it, it was fucked up. Some and, problems. And I was upstairs in the bathroom, and I was looking on porn oh, on my phone. Oh shit! And I was wondering why the sound didn't come through, <laughs> but it, it was coming through. But it was coming through Alexa downstairs. Oh my god! <laughs> 
So there was there was Gianna Michaels screaming in yeah. my kitchen. Good call. <laughs> so Bill Monahan was, banged yeah, her. Was, Did really? he? Yeah. No way. Yeah. There's a site called uh, Ar- Arid. Ar- Arid. Anyway, but you look up when porn stars are coming on tour through your city, right. and then you schedule a fan meet and greet. <laughs> And it's like fifteen hundred dollars, but they'll come to your hotel. Wow! Yeah. And he's yeah. How much is it? Bill, you dog, yeah. you. That's not bad. Fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah, for John Michaels. Michaels. Hmm. Anyway, so so this yeah, is know, playing right? through. I thought about it too. Like, <laughs> hmm. uh, Everybody, Annie up. I don't think anything that happened. Why well, brought it up? I was <laughs> like, and nobody asked any who's questions. Who's on tour in in uh, Kingsville? <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's, who's dancing down at the liquor spot in Kingsville? Uh, it's all BBW stars. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So wait, There's so so it was going through boys. Alexa, oh, and yes. who was home? Uh, the family Ugh. was home. Wait, so pretty much your wife and all your daughters. Pretty much. Well, the little ones were probably outside playing because it was kind of mid afternoon. It was one for those. Wow, those mid afternoon. Look at you. Did you get caught? Wow. Well, I was upstairs. I didn't get caught. <laughs> so wait. So wait. 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 How did you? Alexa how did you? Wait. How did you figure this out? How did you fi- figure out this had happened and like you got away with it? Did this you hear time? downstairs? Well, because <laughs> yeah, it, what happened was you're it, like, wait, somebody's downstairs having sex. What the fuck? I, I know. Who's my wife? Who's no. fucking my wife? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? No, I was up. I had the bathroom door closed. And I was taking a crap and I was looking up some porn and I looked up Gianna and I was looking at I, a, a video came up. I hit play. And there was no sound coming out of my phone like instantly. And I thought, as I thought, why can't I hear anything? I heard it in the kitchen downstairs. <laughs> and like that quick, I hit pause. So it was kind of like a split second of like, ah. And well, then that was it. Gianna, but it was enough. It's her gagging on a dick. Like, <laughs> bark, 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 bark. Wait, what's her last name? Michaels. Michaels Gianna Michaels. Oh, God. They Sorry. used to play that sound effect all the time on Stern. Do you remember that one, Mike? The girl choking on the on the dick. It was like lock, 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 lock. We used to play that all the time. I can't say I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I had. Um, oh, isn't she a squirter? No, no. Gianna Michaels. Now you're talking. Lady. Okay, she's class. Gianna she's Michaels. Classy. Gianna Michaels. Know. Well, you're not into that. No, I am. <laughs> He's like, whoa, shut up, man. This one here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, she's a squirter. What? Seen her Never seen her squirt. I see Never. Right. My Alexa was very hey, good when I went downstairs. <laughs> Did I you just, say, have you seen the video of that little, <laughs> your little Alexa kid? just goes, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's this little kid that goes up to Alexa and asks it to play Twinkle Twinkle. Yes, but I he's did like, see that. Alexa, play Dickle Dickle. And it goes, <laughs> searching hot slits, hot teen porn fuck titty dick. And, and like, all the parents no, are like, oh, no, 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 stop. <laughs> no. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's been great. fun with that. Thing. Bad Alexa, bad. You can bad ask Alexa. Alexa to tell you a dirty joke, and like some of them are stupid. But there was one. Uh, <laughs> she was like, "What's brown and sounds like a bell? A dong." <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Clarence uh, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know. <laughs> do we need Stefan? Really? I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Sorry. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Stefan, Stefan, somebody closer. losing his job security. Where hey, we play Tommy. role playing games. That's why I wanted to. I knew Tommy would be fantastic. It's Fifteen minutes from my house. Exactly. Brown better. Sounds like a bell. I have to remember that one. So, you had a couple of topics, uh, Matt, that you wanted to talk about. Do you remember what they were? Yeah, uh, <laughs> there was one that really caught my eye. I was very interested. You said crazy workout of hanging and being a human punching bag. You ever see the videos? No, oh, I yeah, sent. Yeah, I think yeah. I sent one to I you. Maybe it. a. You may have on like the big timing Instagram page. I sent it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's no, like it, you see them. It's mm-hmm. like the one video I saw is a a chick hanging from like a rack where you do the pull ups, and the guys beating the shit out of her while she's hanging there to work her core. Oh, that's so Don't hot. mention like the liver damage and the kidney damage. And then the other day I saw him with a there was a black guy hanging from the rack and that uh, sounds so bad. <laughs> There's a black arm, guy hanging arms. from the rack. So I'm, I'm trying I'm not trying to make that as a racist workout but so he was hanging and he would lift his legs up and when he would drop his legs down his partner would roundhouse kick him in in the in the chest <laughs> and the stomach repeatedly <laughs> and 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 it was not a light kick it was just like just i mean and the roundhouse. guy had like a 30 pack of abs yes right? yeah. but it was ridiculous i'm like abs wholesale 
It, it really made me stop going to the Y. <laughs> <laughs> I just I was like, that's it. I can't go to All the right, gym This makes anymore. me concerned because when I Google that and the first thing that comes up is like, 14 year old boys punching themselves in the stomach <laughs> <laughs> that's not what i was looking at nice. no that's not what i was looking at <laughs> just a little concerned but no, you know, no that's no. okay that's all i just wanted a voice that no, was just, everything i'm getting is just these 14 year old boys punching themselves in the stomach well as, uh, I mean? uh, as, I mean, as a 14 year old boy i remember that was all we did was yeah, like hey punch Google me in the stomach now really i never did that as 14 and then there's back to G- gianna michaels Back to Gianna. Mm-hmm. I mean, I started trying to work out more like everybody does at the beginning of the year because my wife is a <coughs> marathon runner. Mm. And um, so I'm trying to get myself in shape to be able to compete with her, not running, but at least be in shape. <laughs> and then I saw this video and I was like, there's no way. Yeah, you're like, you I'm shared not... it. You're like, new year, new me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then I see somebody getting kicked in the stomach hanging from a rack and I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't need six pack abs. <laughs> This is at I'm, Valley. I need no abs. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's it's the local Y. If your wife comes back, I just came back from spin kick class. <laughs> spin, <laughs> spin kick. Yeah. I just punched the shit out of somebody in their stomach. <laughs> I just punched a man's scrotum repeatedly <laughs> until it explodes. Until Wait, it was exploded. this what was the one? Was this one on your Alexa? Was that what was the one? Uh, no, <laughs> but that, that one could. On my hard drive. <laughs> that's that's your a, hard it's drive. A your hard drive. System tools. Mike, is this on your hard drive? Huh. <laughs> it ain't on my floppy, no. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, it's not my girl. No, I'm saying. You know, I just, uh, I've, I've fallen in love with the website Brazzers. Yeah, yes, yeah, Brazzers yeah. Is a they good do good Brazzers, stuff. Brazzers, they are bringing back wait, the are you themed a, porn. Are you, wait, wait. Uh, are you a paying subscriber? No. Nice. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I like that. They had a one, you pay $1 for two day trial access. Oh, yeah. And then I've done that a couple times. I've never can't look at browsers. any videos. Bra- I've done that Brad a couple browsers. times. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. But they had one. What was uh, this guy? The the theme of it is follow porn stars on Twitter. It's cheaper. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You can have a, a hot dog from a street vendor. Well, but I, if you want Ruth Chris, you're getting a good. Here's the steak. thing: is with <laughs> yeah, no, I I've always been in that frame of mind, you know, big from my big hand, you, big you porn fan, a I big porn hub that fan. I pay for fucking. And porn, hey, okay? no, I seriously have got. I'm getting to the point where I'm like, <sighs> I think I'm above this free shit. Like, yeah. there's got because you start seeing ads and you're like, damn. I might actually pay for that yeah. because well, you I, just jerk off to the ad and you don't have to pay for anything. <laughs> yeah, it's only I, the snippets. I've seen, uh, here's yeah, what you need on the, uh, the internet. <laughs> the internet. I can only imagine what's happening in the yes, world. behind every great oh, man. There's it's a woman the mystery, rise, folks. <laughs> it's the mystery. That's what creates the you know the excitement. But no, anyway. I just I just like the snippets. That's all. Because somebody on Facebook was like, they don't even make porns anymore where people have blue-collar working jobs. It's a sign of the economy. And I'm like, you need to go to Brazzers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw to- a plumber fuck the shit out of a house. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, uh. Yeah. My favorite was the one that was the pizza delivery guy. And he would, it, the guy had cut a hole in this pizza. Oh, no. Ah, really? uh, like, dick in a box. dick through it. <laughs> and then he would, like, bang on the door and be like, do you order a pizza? And the woman would be like, no. And he'd be like, it's meat love. <laughs> 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 and then she's like, oh, and then start, ah, uh, uh, yeah. But I'm like, that his dick so must be into, burnt. You're into the uh, the old. Uh, well, the weird thing is, vintage, like, when vintage you're watch, themes. No, like Brazzers does like new. It's new stuff. Well, but yeah, you but are it's slow with vintage. Jerking. You're like doing a pace, like a, like yeah, a yeah. pacing out. You're playing yeah. a little cock here. You're doing a slow stroke doing. to keep yourself chub because you have to wait for ten minutes of plot development. I know, <laughs> and that's the part that I have no time for. Right, especially to the, right with to the sex. especially with kids, man. You got no time for yeah, that. No, you got to no, get no, to no. the you got to get to the punchline real yeah. fast. Mm. I mean, to the point where you just got to kind of like open in another tab like that looks good that looks good it's kind of like it's kind of <laughs> like it's kind of like holding your best poker hand like you just got to kind of line them up and let them load yeah. as you're still searching and then you're just like boom 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 you're like no oh, that one actually fucking sucks you throw it out and you just keep rolling through them yep Pornhub's great too it is yeah Pornhub. that's my go-to is a porn hub porn hub and uh you porn are my two I kind of like I'll alternate between are they the linked like can you get from one from one page to the other because hey, I know Pornhub has so. a bunch of them that you can jump to from their page. I don't the X only, hamster. Porn is the only <laughs> reason hamster. why anybody should use Bing. Bing is excellent for porn. If you type Gianna Michaels into Bing, yeah. do that right now. Go to yeah. Bing 
It is laid out for porn. There's videos above pictures. Yeah, above Bing is links. a good search jet for, yes. for just devious for porn. shit like that. Yeah, yeah it, oops, it is. Oops, my bad. Thank you, Bill Gates. So wait, 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 give me something different than Gianna in. Michaels. I've already searched for her. So. Uh, yeah. Look up. Uh, What's the one chick? Uh, Rachel Starr. Look up Dominican Poison. Look up Rachel poison. Starr. Dominican Poison? Yeah, Miss Liz. Mm. Dominican Poison. poison. Mm. Here we go. Miss Liz. <laughs> it's a picture. It's a picture of Clooney's tequila bottle. <laughs> shoved up. <laughs> like, shoved up his ass. Huge. These huge <laughs> knockers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mississippi? Yeah, Mississippi. Is that it for real? What do you mean? Is that, is that it? Real? He's like, I would go right past that thumbnail. Yeah, you're like, Ugh, <laughs> you're into this <laughs> fucking freak. I'd rather get yeah. pissed on. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're teaching me. Here, turn it around. I never saw her before. Who's Miss Liz? Mm hmm. Good God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I dated an F cup for like six years. So I need Tommy's like, I've been ruined. Uh, I'd hit that. Uh, an F cup? Corbin yeah. just moved what closer to me. Is that? Like, is that? Like, what is that like? Breasts. Natural? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. now when a girl's like, oh, my tits are so big, I'm a double D. I'm like, oh, you, eh. you cute little thing. Amateur. <laughs> Amateur. Tit man? Who's you? I, obviously, you're a tit yeah, man. Yeah, I like tits. I like, like legs. Tits. I've recently legs. gotten into feet. That's really? a recent thing. Yeah, I did mushrooms and fixated on a foot. And then it it just stuck. I'm almost through it now. Okay. Like it's through the mushroom or through the feet. Through the phase? Wow. Okay. Through the feet phase. Through the feet That's phase. X videos. X videos seems to have a pretty good lineup, I especially that, that beach runner. Look at that <laughs> that's, animated. That's good. Get, I want to play Mike? whatever game that is. Yeah. Mike, right. <laughs> Mike's avoiding have it. Have you ever jerked off to like cartoon game porn? Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought maybe I was I just saw like, seven <laughs> different things. You're <laughs> asking Tommy Simbazo. <laughs> that he's like, yeah. uh, way to catch up. Way to catch up. Not much I haven't jerked. Yeah. All right. I'm just I, asking. I used to jerk off to pictures I drew myself. <laughs> <laughs> he used to do it in little flip books. Garden little flip books. Yeah, little flip books. Uh -huh. <laughs> this chick I'm drawing is so fucking hot. I'm going to pretend I... Did you use the paper to jerk off in, or did you jerk off to the paper? Okay, uh, full disclosure, when I first started <laughs> out, I would there was a fold-out in a magazine, and I cut a hole where it's a giant... No shit, hole. really? Yeah, and then put my dick through and put my hand on the other... <laughs> nice. I used to kiss the pictures. Nice. I never I never thought I ahead to like cut the hole. <laughs> Oh man, one time. So uh, we were at my uh, grandmother's house one time growing up. That already started out gross. I know, but all right, so, hold on. Wait, so what am I? Wait, so what am I? Tell me your taxi cab confession. So one of my, so one of my uncles lived. He lived in a trailer on the property, <laughs> and like that we, awesome. we used to like break into the trailer because he had like all the Playboy. This is back in the, this is back in the print days, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. back in the eighties, and uh, <laughs> the eighties stuck in the eighties, <laughs> and. Uh, one day we were, I don't remember, cause they, they had the room that my uncles lived in, in the house. And one day, I don't know, my parents were gone, left us in the house alone. And my brother's like, check this out. Open up the closet. And there was a stack probably two feet high of just straight up porn, like hustler, playboy. <laughs> wow. And it was, it was like, alphabetized. Oh, dude, it was, it Plastic was like covers. the Mecca. <laughs> it had tabs. It was <laughs> like... And I, you know, I was pretty young, but yeah, I had an older brother, he's eight years older than me. So he kind of like taught me the ways. And I remember, uh, <laughs> tell me the ways. And, uh, I, you know, had no level of, uh, filter or control over myself. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, was in there and I dug one out and I'm like under the bed, checking it out. My mom comes upstairs. She's like looking for me. Mm. She's like, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just. Playing with some Legos. <laughs> yeah, fucking Legos. Oh, <laughs> fucking a Lego castle. He made a vagina out of Legos, <laughs> Charles. I <laughs> so <laughs> got busted. She was like, eh, something seems awry here. Can <laughs> I get pulled out by my ankle? Ah, oh, that must have burned Ooh. your dick. <laughs> yeah. Scrote him right up your ass crack. And I was like, I'm, I'm just learning about biology. I don't remember what my I'm learning was. about biology. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I just found this magazine. Yeah, your brain was like, quick, tell her it's science. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next time we went back, the giant stack of porn was gone. <laughs> we had, I, had a, I had a buddy growing my up brother over his house one day during the summer, and he's like, dude. You got to check this out, right? And he took me upstairs, 
And he goes into his parents' bedroom and he pulls out this binder underneath his parents' bed and opens it and it's full of Polaroids of his mom <laughs> fucking naked. Oh. And now I'm like, he's like, and you're, like, oh. you're like, that's your this mom, is your dude. Mom. <laughs> He already this had his pants your, down. He's like, yeah, hairy, I know. Harry oh mother. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it's like, where the picture? Will you show me? I was like, I'm standing where the camera was. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy's awesome. place that we found all the VHS port. I had the same similar situation. <laughs> He's like, check this out. I'm like, dude, that's, I mean, I'm okay with it. But it's your mom. It's your like, mom. Unless the person's holding a skateboard, I never want to check this out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, good old days. Yeah, the good old days. I think I was caught with the uh, the. Li- if you remember, the limerick was called "The Creation of Pussy." You <laughs> ever hear that? I actually I looked it up on Google and it, I found that it's it's a whole long limerick about how different men brought different things to the creation of the pussy. Like uh, the tailor stitched the silk on the inside to make it soft and smooth, and the fisherman threw in a fish to give it a smell. And there's like every every man's Ew. profession created the pussy. And it was being passed around school, and I brought it home. And I was the one that got caught oh, with it at home. Oh, damn. Yeah, and that was around the time I used to fuck. You remember those um, those animal slippers? <laughs> you remember those, like, in the in the 80s? <laughs> I loved the first place. I said when you were like, I used to fuck. Uh, yeah. And during and, that, uh, oh, I'm like, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> what glorious What thing? is the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> No, they used to back back in the '80s. Probably uh, there was the slippers that would have like the bust of an animal on them. You remember those? No, you don't remember I do, those. I do remember. You those. do remember? Yeah, seriously? Yeah, I honestly uh, do. You get no? a the, I had a pair that were like lions, and the lion's head would tuck very nicely in my taint. Nice. And with the right amount of baby powder in the slipper, <laughs> oh it was That's it was awesome. go time. Oh, and my dad God. found the dried out slipper oh, and no. the creation of pussy uh, poem all in the same day and. I used to take my sister had a gem doll, which was just like yeah, it was a Barbie she's doll truly outrageous. <laughs> and, and I would I would take its legs and scissor it around my dick and <laughs> squeeze the legs shut. <laughs> I love what this podcast has turned into. <laughs> You guys uh, promise you won't tell anybody. Just don't tell anybody. What that is, is a teen. This one is one. Like, please don't ever share this with anyone. <laughs> I went to, I, got, I got in trouble on the bus because I drew boobs on a stick figure. And yeah. It, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, in my mind, I'm like, if you only knew. Oh, I and can't the, jerk off to this. Yeah, I can't no. jerk, jerk it's off to a stick. Yeah. Oh, in the. Um, it's pretty hot stick. I think it was uh, <laughs> fourth grade. We just moved to Maryland from Iowa. So I was trying to, like, fit in with the hip guys, the hip, hip boys. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I grew up in Northeast Iowa. There were no black people in Northeast Iowa. <laughs> and I moved black. to Cambridge, what? Maryland, what? which Cambridge, what? Maryland is like, There's no black people it's over there. 50%. Like, you nah. know, and I'm sitting, you know, I'm in a class. I'm trying to fit in. And I remember sitting next to this kid, Jacobra. Jacobra. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Jacobra. Yo, what's up, bro? Jacobra Jenkins. Jenkins. Jacobra <laughs> Jenkins. He was in a porn I saw. I will I think never you forget this. A black exploitation movie. I, dude, I, this kid, he was a good guy. Like I really liked him, and I don't remember. Like Borg came up one day. He's like, "Yeah, man." He's like, "My brother, he's got he's got some porn magazines." I could, you know, I could. I was like, "Yeah, my brother, he's got some porn." You know, it was kind of like, uh, "Who's Bix Digger? Whose brother's got more yeah, porn?" Who's right? Bix Digger. Uh, Bix Digger. Digger. Dick's Bix Digger. Digger. And uh, so he brings in, you know, he ripped a couple of pages out, and I'm mm-hmm. like. Is your brother not going to kick your ass for that? Because I'm pretty sure my brother would not be happy if I just destroyed a magazine. Yeah, you ruined it. Yeah. So he brings in a couple of pages. I'm like, hey, man, can I borrow these at recess? <laughs> I got some people I'd like to show these to, and I'd like to make some more friends. <laughs> so he's like, sure. So fast forward to recess time. I'm showing some, you know, some boys these behind the bushes, and they're like, oh, my God, this is so cool. Well, one of the assholes that didn't didn't wasn't fond of my uh, uh, way of making friends mm-hmm. went and told on me to one of the teachers. You mean the guy you didn't let see any of them? Exactly, because <laughs> right. yeah. he was a dick. And I'm like, <laughs> "Fuck you! You're not gonna you look can't at this see shit." The ripped out pages. These guys aren't assholes to me. <laughs> so that motherfucker went and told on me. And uh, yeah, I think it, it, well, I hadn't been there very long. So she comes around the corner. She's like, "What's in your pocket?" 
this was uh, <laughs> the 90s, so we uh, fe- yeah, moved out of the 80s. Okay. You so know, and it was off. the 90s where you have all the fucking yeah. pockets. Yeah, yeah. You're and I'm like, on. bugle boy pants. Yeah, and this guy, yeah, I'm like, I don't got wallet. anything in my pockets. <laughs> you know, you got all these side pockets, and she's like, uh, those pockets. And I'm like, oh, those? I don't. I don't even know those. I don't never use those pockets, so there's nothing in there. <laughs> it's full of rocks. Yeah, you know, I collect. I'm a rock collector. It's my pogs rocks. and my yo-yo. So I'm like, I like kind of pull it out like it's just like my chapstick. Pog. I'm just like, I don't know. There's nothing in my pockets. You know, I'm just holding it in my hand like there's nothing here. I don't know what you're talking about. And she's just like reaches over and pulls this page out and unfolds it and goes, mm-hmm. Folds it up. Follow me. Oh. And I'm like, and then she molested them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was hoping that was where that I, was going. I thought I saw a thing on Brazzers. It started. I can see. Way. I yeah? can see yeah. all your eyes were all glistening. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what did she look <laughs> like? That, no, she was. She was hideous. It doesn't lie. matter. <laughs> uh, uh, but no. Uh, yeah, I got taken what color right was down. The hair coming out of her mole. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was black with vagina. like a hint of gray, kind of like my beard. Mole hair. Moly vagina. She takes me out of the fucking principal's office. A woman. Ugh. So I'm now like. So you're having a threesome. I'm, I'm now. typecast, right? <laughs> They're like, this guy's swinging big, big. <laughs> and uh, she goes, in a very sexual way, she kind of like taps it on the side of the desk. Like she's like, like adjusting the pages. It? Yeah. She's trying to make the titties drop in the picture. Yeah, right. Or <laughs> she's like kind of looking at it. She goes, looks over the top of it. She goes, you know, I just uh, transferred from the middle school. And normally we would call the parents about this sort of thing. And oh, I'm like, but today. But this was high school, right? No, this is elementary school. Whoa! <laughs> but this today. is like fourth this grade. This was kindergarten. This is like fourth grade. She's like, but you look, you seem like a good kid. Caught up with a bad crowd. <laughs> I'm going to let this one slide. Uh, thank God for white privilege. <laughs> <I'm> right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> but if I ever, if this ever happens again calling your parents and like it'll never happen again and i'm like walking out down the hallway and they got jacoba by the arm and they're dragging him down the hall and he's like going down with a ball of flames he's like jason because the kid that turned me in was jason he's like that motherfucker's going down (laughs) he's going down and i'm like and i'm just like dude just be cool man just he's like fuck that and he's just he's going off so we get back into class, and I'm sitting down. He They bring him back in. He leans over to me, and he's like, we're going to get him back. And I'm like, no, we're not. I'm not doing anything. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, oh, it's coming to him. We're getting him. I'm like, I don't know, dude. Whatever you're doing, you're on your own, bro, because I just dodged a big old bullet, man. We're good. Like, next week, Jason gets hauled out. Kid jacobra planted another fucking nudie page in his little sliding box that we had in our walls planted it and it was so obvious that they took jason out and then they came up snatched jacobra and took it with him (laughs) never saw the kid ever again i was like holy (laughs) shit he wasn't kidding he's like i'm taking him down he went down he went down hard but yeah i dodged a bullet I yes. went home. I told my brother. I was like, "Man, I might get in well, trouble." Well, you should have known not to use a naked picture of Jacobra's mother. Exactly. <laughs> the Polaroid. The Polaroid. This is Jake. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is <laughs> what? Not she her again. She always brings us cookies and she crackers. always shows up at the uh, at the schoolyard. So I hope that Jacobra is an upstanding citizen. I don't want to. I'm sure. Do look at. Have you looked him up? I haven't. <laughs> Jacoba Jenkins. Actually, you know what? I think I did recently. Uh-huh. Couldn't find him. Mm. Ooh. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Profiling. For, for that's a I that that's a fucked up thing to think, but that was I <laughs> the was the like, first thing. If well, he's I not on social media, there's a couple girls that I had crushes on in like elementary school that like they're not I can't find them on Facebook. Not that I've been they're just, <laughs> Oh, I can't find them on Facebook. You're if not, I were to look for them, they wouldn't be there. <laughs> I have I've my buddy and I have this issue with Facebook right now. Like my mother has become very prominent on Facebook who's in her seventies and, <laughs> and his mother has just started a Facebook account. And none of none of the girls none of my daughters are on Facebook. But the other day my mom felt the need to post on Facebook, granddaughters, although I don't see you every day, I miss you. Passive aggressive. And I think as about hell. you all the time. Like <laughs> 
They're not even on Facebook. How the fuck are they going <laughs> to see this message? <laughs> that was directed at you. I know. <laughs> that was directed at I you. So I, I didn't call her. I just called her. It was like a month ago. I just <laughs> called just her today. Like, I, just, I just replied to her post. So I was like, you'll never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> They're not allowed out of the basement. I saw that Wendy, Wendy Townsend, had, yes. had, she commented on some picture that was on Facebook. Just commented. And then a couple comments down, her own dad was like, Wendy, please call me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how this works. That's fucked up. Please call. I haven't heard from you in weeks. Please call me. Call My me. mom's one of those ones that, that are always like posting the things like, if you read this, please share if you've ever heard Oh, had Jesus. It's like, come on, Mom. My mom actually shared something, and then 20 minutes later, liked the shit that she shared. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's not how this... That's I've, not how any of this works. I've done that before She's like the by lady accident. with the pictures on the wall. <laughs> I've done that before by accident. I'm like, unlike, unlike, unlike. <laughs> I'm unfriending you. And my buddy's mom, she's like, she walks around now. He lives with her with his, her headphones in, and she'll be like, it's on the YouTube. <laughs> She's like addicted to the YouTube. YouTube. Look at all those red ties. It's on the YouTube. Oh man, Hillary Clinton's it's like gay. The, the you porn one day. It's gonna be like it's on the you porn. Yeah, I had a job where I was pretty much digging holes every day, and uh, one of the, what the were you for boyfriends? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you work for a uh, for cemetery? Under, no, an underground <laughs> utility locating company. Okay, and I was a land surveyor. But if they didn't have anything to survey, I was just digging holes. <laughs> And the uh, the the guy Dig here, just in case, <laughs> the guy who I was working with was this black guy, and he was always watching porn on his phone. Right, nice. So we got to a point where they were like, "Look, if you're when you're digging and you're running the equipment, you need to wear earplugs." So we just started wearing earbuds and we listen to music and stuff. So one day we're digging and his earplug falls out, and I hear, ah, 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 and I'm like, "Are you listening to porn?" That's cool. <laughs> Like that's an now, addiction. Now that's, that's an a addiction. whole level of addiction right there. <laughs> oh my god! Like, what are you imagining happening? Oh my god! Yeah. You don't. It's it's just there. It's, yeah, he's just like listening. Like, uh huh. That's the whole progression. I, I, of I addiction. wonder why he was going faster. Why he was, I was digging say, the hole? What would it take to get a fucking boner at that point? If you're just yeah. listening, like you would be so desensitized to all of it. A buddy of mine told me that there's this podcast you listen to called Disturbing Sounds, right? And that one time it, it starts up, right, and you just hear this wet like. And Stop you start that. hearing the guy going, uh, 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 and after like three minutes, the guy's like, "Yeah, you like that? You like when I shove my finger into my dick hole?" And the oh. whole time, it's been this guy fingering his dick hole. A little sounding action. <laughs> like, why is it so wet? Why is it wet? Oh my God. That is funny as shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> a little sounding for the boys. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I just learned about that actually recently. What the sounding topic? The sounding thing. What's the sounding? Uh, you uh, shove uh, stuff up like uh, men's urethras, yeah. right? That's called sounding. Yeah. 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 Uh oh, are we teaching Tommy something? Holy Jesus! I'm sorry guys, I'm not. This is the man that used to draw stick figures with boobs and jerk off in a wow, bus. Dude. Sorry guys, I just got through feet. I'm not up to dick <laughs> stuff yet. <laughs> you just Google. <laughs> Google sound well not Google but oh, no. you porn no, sounding no, Google would, it don't don't even use the use uh, Bing <laughs> I'm gonna Bing, Bing will show you Bing, Bing sounding. sounding don't make it private don't <laughs> don't, don't a, go incognito yeah it's don't awesome. go incognito I did a show once have you had um have you what? had right now no have you had Nikki Fuchs really? on two oh one Jesus, have you had, Jesus. Have you I had, thought we were like maybe an hour and a half nope. sorry have you had Nikki I have not I'm real quick Real quick. No, I'm not. Just, uh, have you had Nikki Fuchs? No, we have not. Okay, Nikki Fuchs, comedian, has a joke where she has a gap in between her two front teeth. Okay, and she says that sometimes she smokes weed through the gap. It's called gaping, right? <laughs> oh, and I was okay. at a show, and some guy in the crowd was like, "That's not what gaping is." So I was like, "Gaping," <laughs> and I googled it, and I'm like, "Oh my fucking god!" Because it's just where these women are stretching themselves oh. open. And as it's up, some wow. other comic from D.C. comes up. He goes, oh, sweet, you into gaping? You got to check out this one site. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm like, now he thinks I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> now he thinks you're into it. That's awesome. Keep sending me all these gaping oh, links. Like, <laughs> God damn. Have we really been going that long? Two, yeah, 202. Wow. Damn. Two, oh, all right. 203. Well, that explains why I have to pee again. Yeah, Jesus. right. All right. I'm telling you diabetes. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think it's tequila and fucking beer. Tequila and 9.0. <sighs> All 
All right. <clears throat> well. So what's that mean? I think that's, uh, we're going to call it. That's long. I didn't realize. we. I thought we were maybe pushing an hour and a half. I didn't. I didn't realize we'd been going that long. Not well, that's that it's right. a bad thing. You can edit most of your boring ass stories out. Yeah, and cut I, know. It down. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did ramble on. So that means we. I? How much more time do we have to do? If, None. If you edit d- we can. Yeah, we should talk for about a half hour about Getting that. How long we've been doing it. Yeah. All right. Well, unless you all have any other hot topics. Uh, well, there's that. Everybody just Google the world's largest penis. That guy has. Oh like right. Yeah. No, we gotta end it on that. Dick. We'll end it yeah. on that one. Keep Yikes. talking. Keep talking. There's a guy from <laughs> Mexico who has the world's largest penis. It measures in at 19.9 inches. Like it's down below his knee. But nobody will show it. Exactly. And that's the part I well, call a farce. He shows it, it's It's in wrapped in socks and leg warmers. It is. It's wrapped in like <laughs> ace bandages. And stuff. It's like Olivia Newton-John's <laughs> wardrobe. <laughs> Wrapped on his dick. It's his wrapped, dick sweating through that's the old fucking hair. hilarious. <laughs> it's wrapped in a leg. But he can't like oh, uh, he can't have a normal sex life because he can't get oh, hard. He poor can't you. shove it in. But he's trying. He and, like, literally like, just plays just the tip. They're all like, the time. why don't you get? <laughs> how about you? You get a reduction. He's like, no, I like the idea of having the world's largest dick. But it's just this. And no stuff. woman wants that. Well, he's going to move to America and try to become a porn star. But uh, if yeah. you hear the guy talk, he sounds like one of the mice that would hang out near Speedy Gonzalez. Arriba, arriba, underneath. Come on, puppy. Penis. No woman want to touch him. <laughs> Yeah. Not, not that I I'm a big fan of porn, but has anyone <laughs> seen John Holmes? Johnny Wait, Holmes from like the 70s? Yeah, like recently or like back in the well, day. Well, he's dead now, well, so no, not recently. His but dick's not dead, from what I heard. <laughs> living on. Dick yeah, well, a career. <laughs> did anyone ever dead. see it hard? No, no. Thank you. So nineteen and a half inches hard. This was soft. This was soft. Jesus Christ! Right. I don't think you can get it. I, at 19 and a half inch, if you get your dick hard, you're, you're going to die. Out. Thank you. Ever, you. Well, remember that, that, you remember that bit with blood. Andy Dick? Porn is worthless You remember without, that bit? Yeah. Oh, with the, the wor- boy with the world's largest penis? That yeah, one. Andy Dick, when he like had the fake penis put on to become a dancer, and when he got hard, he would pass out because all the blood <laughs> would run to his dick. <laughs> Either that or you're going to kick yourself in the face. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the dude, they showed him walking down the street with his pants, and they're like, no, that's a trouser snake. And yeah, you can see it like, like you can see it like hanging below his knee. And yeah, I'm like, he if he were to get a Sinbad fucking boner, yeah, his pants. the shit would just be like, whoop, <laughs> and he'd kick himself in the face. Like, it had blood pressure issues. Why is that yeah. guy goose stepping? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was a good topic to end yeah. it on. There you go. You're welcome. I'm actually, I'm actually the first time for a while in uh, doing any kind of comedy. I'm going to be at John and Peter's in New Hope in uh, February 15th. I think Matt wanted to do his plugs. Yeah. Yeah, no. I was going to go into that. Yeah. I was just going to end it. That's the only plug I had. We, we got it. Oh, I know. Well, he said we're going to so end wait, it. So I what, was like, all right, wait no, no, a minute. No, no, no. What's so what? So uh, what? What are you? How, now you know do how it much again. Time you're right. doing? Do you I'm know? Doing, like, I'm what's, supposed what's, to do like 15 minutes. Where? So where is that venue? John and Peters is on Main Street in New Hope, across from the Havana Club. Um, Where's I don't New know, Hope? Uh, by uh, Washington's Crossing, Lambertville, New Jersey area. Okay. Right around there, New Hope's like a little, like somewhat gay you're not motorcycle gonna go that, town. You're not going to go to the bridge. Over what bridge? The one that's out of whack right yeah, now? Yeah, no, that, I'm not going that, that way. One. I'm not going over the Pensy it's Turnpike a, Bridge. It's a good idea. Yeah, I'm not going there. But there's a guy up there. His name's Mike Dialto. He runs a show there like once a month. Um, he brings in some guys from New York once in a while. And uh, I did a show there, I forget when, a couple months back, and he just asked me to come up. So I haven't been in front of an audience like that for a long time, so it's going to be cool. should be fun. <clears throat> no, that's awesome. should dude. be stupid and fun. Glad to hear you're getting getting back into getting the my ring. dick wet again. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Uh, Simbazo. Other than tomorrow night, and uh, then you can plug that again. What else you got going on uh, here? Then on the second, I'll be at what the heck? It's at the Heck Warehouse in D.C. I'll be headlining that show. Then we have a murder mystery on Saturday, uh, February fourth at Beer Baron. Okay, and then the following weekend with, the, with Rob and Joe. Uh huh. Rob, Joe, Eric, uh, Eric from Woodworth. the Moore Network. We need to get Woodworth on here. That's what we need to do. And then uh, the weekend of the ninth, tenth, and eleventh, I'll be at Magoobie's Joke House. Ooh, Magoobie's. I that? heard that name. Uh, that's in Timonium. <gasps> Lutherville. Uh, 
Uh-huh. Hunt Valley. They are all one in the same. Oh, Cockeysville. Oh, that's all <laughs> I have on my calendar. Hmm. And then, uh, it's the seventh, I think. then tomorrow night, too. Don't forget tomorrow night. And tomorrow night, yes, you, which we've already plugged, but I'll we plug did. it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. I'm going to plug again. it so good oh, plug that, plug that as shit. soon as I bring up that. Plug it with your, that plug it with your finger. <laughs> I'm going to plug it like a 19 and point. Oh, that was the crazy day. German club name, wasn't yes, it? Yes, I will be at the kind of dragon. <laughs> 3602 Hickory Avenue in <laughs> it's <on> Hamden. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a free show, but you pay for what you like. Wait. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. When Mark Miller lights you, because he's he's running it, right? Mm-hmm. Just ignore it <laughs> and just keep running. Oh, I don't get lights. And then when he lights... <laughs> <You're> so cute. <laughs> People tell me do however much I want. Well, and I'm like, well, are give, you headlining give that? Give me a light. Yes. Oh, okay. Very nice. So. Very nice. <laughs> but still, if he lights you, just run it. Because he, he's... Fuck it. He needs so you want light. me to Fuck go it. extra long on yes. a show I'm probably not getting paid to do? Yes. Go long. <laughs> on a Wednesday night. <laughs> nice. During an Overwatch Wait, wait, event. there's like seven other comedians in front of me. There are. Fuck, yeah. um, go long. But it's going to be a good show. It's. I mean, these no, are... it'll be a good show. Yeah. I just like to bust Mark Miller's balls because oh. he did a show for us one time, and he ran like seven lights. Mm. And uh, finally he goes... Am I gonna get a light? And I was just like, "You've had five in the room, like busted out laughing." He's like sweating, and I'm like, "Yeah, you've had five. At the bottom of the flyer, though, it does say many more performers to be announced. So he's pulling a John Yeager. So, so buckle up. There everybody. might be more comedians after the headliner. There might be more than <laughs> seven. We have our headliner tonight, show. folks, and after the headliner, we're gonna have another eight or nine comics. <laughs> You get what you pay for, and these people may pay for a longer show. Yes. But it's going to be good. Thank wow. you, Mark, for having me on the show. I'm very thrilled yeah. to do it. Mark's probably not listening. But but you just said how great a relationship you have with him. I do have a good relationship with him. Well, I'm just going to tell him I plugged it anyway. Okay. okay. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Big Tommy Connie, we're actually at Kisslings in Canton this Thursday, the 26th. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, because Friday's the 28th. <laughs> that made no sense. Well, I said it because I actually had the 29th. <laughs> Wait a minute. 26th. 29th, uh, 26th. 29th is a, is a Sunday. No, no Sunday, it's a Thursday. Saturday. It's the 26th. Yeah. Uh, and then we have uh, Rody Joe's Valentine's Day show on oh. 211. Nice. You should go with us, Tommy, now just I for shits and giggles. I have a show at Magoobie's Valentine's Oh, Day. right. That's right. You did say that, didn't you? No, no. I didn't. I just I don't have it in my calendar, which is weird. But I do. Oh. Uh, Valentine's Day, we're doing the uh, sing, uh, newly dead game murder mystery at Magoobie's. On the 11th? Oh, that sounds mm-hmm. cool. Very cool. The 14th. Oh, that's like a Wednesday or yeah. some shit. Okay. Cool. All right, folks. And everyone, if you're listening... And you play Overwatch. The Year of the Rooster event is going on today. Uh, the 20... What's the day? 24th. Yes, 24th. 24th. It's the 24th. Yeah, that's it. Pick up your Chinese New Year themed skins. So when are you going to have us on your podcast? See you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually we start back up in March, uh, and Jim is. I put Jim in charge of scheduling because I was doing everything. So. They're on spring break. Yeah. Wait, when March? Yes. What? In March, we're starting March seventh. Uh-huh. We got to figure out guests, and we'll have us on first because supposed to have a kid like March twenty second. So after that, I'll probably be done. Yeah. Not really. Well, available. Jim wants to vote, so wait, I got to put names oh, up. Oh Jesus Christ! And then Are y'all really yes doing no. like a fucking like draft for this? <sighs> Yes. Got too many cooks in the kitchen. Yes. Apparently, Jim wasn't happy with the guests that we've had. <laughs> oh, boy. So now we have to vote. Oh, boy. Hmm. Right. Well, Matt, thank you so much for coming and joining us. And we need to do some voiceovers with that creamy, <laughs> creamy voice you have. That creamy voice. Well, the one that I... What did I mention to you? How uh, you should... In the beginning, in the promo, it says about where the beer flows like wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was saying how the, you had mentioned how Jeremy, when he was here, kept saying was mistaking the tequila and the vodka. The tequila vodka yeah. So you should say where the tequila flows like vodka yes. and have Jeremy do it. 
we should. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did talk about that. Yeah, that was kind of it was silly. But it would I sound it would it would sound a lot higher pitch. It'd be like where Ooh, the tequila. Where the tequila. Where the tequila. <laughs> it's just nice to know he listened. It sound, it How awesome sound, is that? It would sound more like an elf saying it. Now so. where the tequila flows like wine. <laughs> It's really creepy wow. when I can ba- picture him in ba- his ba- high chair. Back's got quite a rage. <laughs> you know, He's like yeah. deep Jer- as fuck. Jeremy at five foot life on Twitter. <laughs> 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 we love you, Jeremy. Yeah, man. But we love your girlfriend. We more. really Absolutely. like your. <laughs> we really like your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you everyone for listening, and uh, have a good night. See you guys. Hey, Stefan, do you like packages? You know I do. Well, you can go down to the EPS store at Canton Crossing Shopping Center. Do you know Emily and Joe? I do. They are a lovely couple. Well, they can give you the UPS pack and ship guarantee. So if they package it and anything happens, full refund, no questions asked. I have a question. No need. Just mention hearing them on the podcast and get 10% off printing and packaging. Emily and Joe are brother and sister.